Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, hello, hello. I think I'm live on my end. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? We live over here, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome. You know what time it is. <laughs> what's up, Battle? How's it going, James? It's been a little while. Yeah, man, it's been great. It's been great. I've been watching y'all streams like all the time. So you and um, and Jesse and David, every time y'all on, I'll be like, oh, I'm about to learn something over there. So oh, no way. usually that's why I go to you guys' stream because they actually, like, you can actually learn some stuff over there. So, <laughs> you know, and I got to the dojo, um, the uh, podcast. So, you know, I'm on, I'm on the podcast, bro. I'm loving the content, man. I got some great stuff over there. So well, thanks, man. definitely being it. glad to be part of it today. Sub battles and stuff. Yeah, I much appreciate it. I mean, this is just going to be fun. You know, we sub battles are always a blast. We don't do like a ton of like blitz stuff, but okay, we're going to have like a bunch of people playing today. So we got to keep it, got to keep it fast. Um, but yeah, it's great. It's great to have you. I'm a big fan of uh, your channel as well. And I know you've also been trying to do uh, instructive videos on YouTube. That's right, man. Yeah. So YouTube has been booming. YouTube has been real good. Oh, no way. And um, um, Twitch, of course, is exploding too as well. So, you know. Everything's blowing up, but uh, you guys are right there as well. So I see that. I see the chess dojo is like a man. That's a that's a thing right there. I love definitely love the dojo. So glad to be here today. Let's gonna have a sub battle. I hope you guys are excited for today. We already got people like I'm your 12 1300 slot. So I'm about to put him in right now. He's ready. Cool, cool. He's so um, yeah, guys, we'll start to we'll start signups in just a moment. If you're on the dojo side, I just made a post in the Discord channel and Twitch subs, so you guys can post your chess.com username there. Um, you do need your Discord and your Twitch uh, to be connected, uh, and that's going to be in your Discord settings and your integrations, and that'll give you the role, and then you can see the, the sub channel and post there. If you're not in Discord or if you're having trouble with that, you can post your, your username in the Twitch chat, and I will try to get you guys as well, so don't worry about it. Um, but we're going to be so, starting in a couple of minutes. Know. Yep. If you're ready, hey guys, chat, hey, put your username in. Put your username in there. If you're trying to play the price is right, so send your username in the chat just now. I can just copy and paste. Hey. I'm at work, won't be able to join in this. It's all good, left hand. It's all good. We're gonna have a squad ready in a minute. That's right. Yeah, we got a we got a squad. Chess Dojo's tight, but I know we got a squad too. <laughs> well let's, let's see. D price. It's gonna be very close. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> D Price is at 12, 1300 slot. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Yo, D Price, let me get the username, bro. Let so James, let's names. um let's mute and zoom, and then I'll catch you okay. in like let's say five minutes or so. We'll get our players in. Cool. All right. Talk to you soon. All right. Okay, guys. So yeah, as I mentioned, um, if you're in Discord, the easiest thing would be to post your username there. If you're uh, not in Discord, let me know your username in the chess.com chat. So I see Marco Batman and Propeshka. So let me get you guys in. And uh, if I'm missing anyone, um, just uh, just let me know. This is the one thing you can kind of like spam if I don't notice you. I don't mind. <laughs> but we're going to try to get as many players in as we can. Um, And uh, we will have a list of players, so you will know if you get selected ahead of time. And we're going to be starting with the lower rated board. So high rated players, you guys can kind of uh, time it. You don't have to be here for the whole time, but make sure your name does get on the list. Okay, so I have Marco and Propeshka from the Twitch chat. Once again, guys, let me know if I missed anyone in Twitch. Um, and I need to know your, your chess.com username. <laughs> Definitely don't assume that I know your username off the hand. I know a lot of you guys have the same one, but I'm not always 100% sure. So <laughs> make sure you have your, your, <laughs> your clear username there for me to, uh, to understand. Okay, uh, let me open up this one. Yeah, oh, actually, right, if you can tag me in Twitch chat at Chess Dojo Live, then the message gets highlighted on my end, and that actually is helpful. <laughs> uh, okay, so I have Flash Puller, three stage, wa or stage watch. Okay, I got you Flash, Flash, Flach. I can't do it. Flash, 
flash. I'm not going to get it. Okay. <laughs> Menchik David, got you. Yeah, Marco, I got you. You're in. <laughs> it's hard. Only David can do it. Wait, Propeshka. Okay. And all right, we got a bunch of names in Discord. All right, let me get the Discord names. If you post in Discord, guys, just assume I'll get you because the, the names are all listed. I can just quickly enter them in. And so I'm getting Steve North, Tolly Potter, Chaxis, Bonosos, Cartier Tank, Giveth. Tripman 13, Falk 312, Kayon Pictus, Nargayev, Cheesy Driver, Max Malinek, um, hmm. wait, getting an error on one of these. Not sure why. Oh, no rapid games. So if, or if you guys don't have any blitz games, I it, the sheet might not want you to play because you don't have a provisional rating or if you don't have an established rating and that's just to kind of protect against um you know people who just haven't played before because yeah there's no rating so it's hard to it's hard to pair you up against someone of equal strength because we want to have um, like individual boards. Okay, Francis Wu Tang Wang, Offer Shotch, big hero last time. Got you on the board. Door, you're in. Okay, Steve Nash. Workout. TS Riff One, Pizza Racer. Okay, FSDS O One. All right, so that's everyone in Discord. Okay guys, so I can't guarantee everyone is gonna get in. It does depend on who shows up for the other team because we just wanna make sure everyone has like an equal opponent. So um, we're <laughs> I'm just putting all of our players in and we'll see who gets in based on, um, based on who we have on the other side. But I will do my best. Um, there's gonna be, so 20 boards, just one round. Uh, so we're going to be starting from the first board and then working our way up. Oh, here's the here's the actual battle doc so you guys can see what that uh, looks like. So so these are just um, this is all tentative for now because it'll depend on who shows up on uh, Canty side. But these are all the players I have on my list. So if you don't see yourself on this list. You can let me know. 
and I can still get you on. Uh, and whoever is showing up on the other side is not necessarily going to be your opponent here. Because this, this all might change. Because as you guys can see, we have like these um, ratings for each board. And so we kind of want the players to match up based on uh, rating. So this is just our, our list of players waiting to play. <laughs> so yeah, no need to open up chess base and start prepping yet. No, I, I mean, it's actually very easy uh, for me. I just have to type in your usernames and uh, Google Doc takes care of everything. Yeah, Marco, we I already got you, bro. You're you're on the list. I've already mentioned like multiple times. <laughs> Marco, unmute your stream. Okay, we're going to time out Marco. Because <laughs> apparently he heard that it's okay to spam, but then didn't hear anything else. <laughs> it's like he heard this one thing. All right, I don't mind if you spam this one thing and then didn't listen to anything else I said. <laughs> so hopefully he sees himself on the list here. Does that... <laughs> Is this an indication that <laughs> Marco's name has been? Um, how much time? We'll be starting soon, in just a few minutes. Um, as soon as uh, we get the players in for, for both sides. And we're going to start from the bottom boards. So. Um, whoever ends up being our, our lowest player in this 500 to 600 group, if we can get one. Um, uh, actually, I don't have any players in the 500 to 600 group, guys, and we will need one because Team Canty has uh, 592 here. So if your blitz rating is uh, 5 to 600. Yeah, Michiko, Amanda, either of you guys want in. We also need a 6 to 700 and a 7 to 800. So we don't really have one of those yet. Offer, I'm not, I wasn't being harsh on him. I, I mentioned multiple times that Marco was in and then people told him in chat multiple times. I don't understand how else. <laughs> uh, the kid listens to the stream all the time. So clearly he can understand directions. He kept like spamming his stuff. Okay, Amandala, great. What's your, um, what's your chess.com username? Just a minute there. Oh, cool, cool. Okay, and um, sorry guys, there's a lot of there's a lot of messages. Okay, Michiko, you wanted in as well. Okay, I'm putting Michiko in too. Awesome. And uh, yeah, guys, there are a few questions along this nature. We don't want any. Um, sandbagging. So if you're like, <laughs> so don't play an account that's like much lower than, you know, your regular rating. We want to keep things like fair. So no sandbagging. You got to play as your actual blitz uh, rating. Oh, right. Yeah. Flashpillar, you're, you're totally fine. You're good. 
Um, so when it's time for you guys to actually play your board, the way it'll work is um, I will just start your games automatically. So as long as both players are um, in, in live chess, your game will just start. Mm, I have no idea <laughs> about the, uh, the rating change. We'll see. Yeah, it looks like we might have um, we might have quite a few more boards, uh, kind of like last time. So we're just gonna pair up, you know, based on whatever players we can find that are closest to our opponents. Um, oh, but he's adding a couple names right now, so that's cool. So right now we're looking at looks like nine, maybe ten boards. So yeah, if you guys get in, it's just going to be one, one game. Oh, Zeno, if you haven't posted your name in Discord yet, so you gotta post it in the Twitch uh, subs channel. So you need to connect your Discord and your Twitch account. Um, that should be done in your integrations and in, uh, in your Discord settings. And then if you connect your accounts, then if you're a Twitch subscriber, it'll automatically give you that role in Discord, and then you'll be able to see that channel. It's kind of complicated, but I mean, it's it's very cool. It's very cool that these softwares all kind of communicate with each other. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, these are, yeah, these are sub battles. So <laughs> that is it's kind of uh, fundamental. Otherwise, I mean, we would just have hundred, you know, hundreds of boards, thousands of, it would just be... It would just be mayhem. We could, um, there are different types of events. I would actually totally be down to do more of like a, just a club event where we would have an unlimited number of boards, more or less. Um, and uh, and then those would just be open to anyone in the uh, chess.com club, which is open to every everyone basically. <laughs> so we will have, uh, and yeah, we have had these kinds of events. Um, Dorwell, we are, uh, we are on the way for doing the dojo leagues. We have the dojo, uh, chapters that are getting, I think, slowly more and more populated. And I think we can use those to, to create some kind of league. <laughs> so we how to join the ladder. Steve, it's very simple. Just join, just sign up on the Google doc and then. Uh, the ladder is kind of more open. There's no, basically you just post in the ladder channel that you're looking for a game and, and then you set individual games up with um, other players. So the Google Doc is linked in the uh, ladder uh, FAQ channel in the Discord, ladder frequently asked questions. Cool guys, I appreciate your patience here. Maybe I'll play a little, little waiting music. <laughs> a little, little elevator music. Will I play viewer challengers while I wait? No, I will not, because it's going to be like a few minutes. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, yeah, let me, um, let me show you guys the list here so we can think about who we might need that we don't have yet. Um, actually, guys, we have room for a second player in the 500 to 600 range. So if you're between five to 600 or closer to 600, I think that would be okay too. We could use, um, well actually no, for now, for now, Mishiko and Amanda uh, can be our bottom two boards. So are actually kind of okay there. So I think we're okay for now. I think we pretty much have, we could use a player that's around 1600 if there are any 1600 rated subs watching. Um, otherwise, we're just going to go to the uh, the next closest. Oh, I'm Murkiest. Well, do I have your um, do I have your username in? Did you post that in, in Discord or or no? Oh, you were the, were you the provisional player? Oh, I see. That's why I don't have it yet. Cause the sheet doesn't want to accept, uh, if you have a provisional blitz rating. Oh, okay. So once you get an established blitz rating, then we can, we can have you play. Uh, but it has to be established. Hey, what's up pizza trainer? Welcome to the dojo. How many games for an established rating? I'm not sure. It might be like somewhere in the range of 20. Yeah, Tali says Time control, three plus two, three plus two. Actually, let me make that clear. So you guys will have three minutes, two second increment. Maybe a good time for me to give a little pep talk to all the subs that we'll be playing. So I think we're gonna have, yeah, it looks like 10, 11 boards. Um, probably get started, I think in a few. So if you're playing in the sub battle, number one, don't panic. It's okay. It's just gonna be fun. You know, it's just a fun competition. Give you guys some some practice and get yeah, me and James. James is an amazing commentator, by the way, <laughs> commentating on your game. Um, but uh, try to take your time. Try not to like rush. Definitely see some games where you know we end up with a losing position with like three minutes on our clock. You don't want to get a losing position with three minutes on your clock, right? Because it's like, what do you need that time for? <laughs> So take your time, but then once it gets down, you know, you have like under a minute, under 30 seconds, then you gotta switch into bullet mode. You gotta go into bullet mode and make sure that you're kind of keeping the pace, right? Every move comes within two, three seconds. Just keeping the pace, try to find the good move and, and make it. Sacrificer earned all those points in our tournament and now is going to be playing against us. Starting from the lowest boards, uh, and no, I don't know how to <laughs> how to display all the boards, all the names I want. That's a lot of names. 
Here, I'll keep it on on Canty's players. Fourteen boards so far. Fourteen boards. <laughs> Just want to see your name on the list. I understand. I understand. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Nori, we got you got a bit of time. We'll be starting from the lower boards. So I'll be what I'll be doing is I'll be choosing players um, that are as close as possible to the ratings of our opponents. And uh, once we have the official pairings in, you guys should know who your opponent is and approximately when you'll play. You know, each game will take like six to ten minutes, um, and you guys can kind of do the uh, approximate math. getting a couple more words. Cool. Yeah, we'll start with the uh, the bottom boards and then work out our way up. So we'll start with the 500 to 600 board, 6 to 700, 7 to 800, and uh, slowly work our, our way up. But we might have multiple players, you know, in the same kind of rating range. So we'll just try to match it up. I'm sure every, you know, game will have a little bit high rated player on one side or the other. <laughs> Yeah, careful offer. Don't want to <laughs> don't want to drop down too much. You know, it's honestly, it's much better to go first than to go last. Last is like when all the pressure is on. <laughs> Be happy that you're, you get to start things out. say this is all just practice you know there's nothing really nothing really on the line it's mainly just like a fun skirmish i essentially see this as just kind of like a training skirmish one day guys you know twitch is gonna be really big and and we're gonna have like a real like a real league right where we're gonna have like an official dojo and then those matches you know those will like really matter this for now this is just like dipping the toes in the water you know getting ready you know, seeing what it's like. It's not easy to have your game like featured on stream. You know, it certainly can affect you. So this is just like good practice to kind of like get used to playing when um, when people are watching you. Imagine guys what it's like when you're playing uh, over the board tournament and you know, your game is being like broadcast to the internet and you know, like people are like watching and like saying stuff. You don't know what they're saying. Could be saying all kinds of stuff on Twitter. And then if you like blunder, you know, chess 24 will click your game and like, ooh, looks like this guy blundered. And like a thousand people making fun of you on like Facebook. So anyway. Yeah. 
yeah, over the board even without people watching is already already stressful enough. Yeah, yeah, especially when someone's watching your your game like over your shoulder, like behind you. You know, like you're playing and then you turn around and you're like, oh my god, it's like a super GM. And you're like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I remember I was at like an open tournament and uh, yeah, I'm like playing someone and then, you know, like, people are like walking out, like, like turning, like someone's like looking at games, like, oh, is that? Like, oh, it's just share up, like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, like watching my game, like, oh no. <laughs> very nerve-wracking oh yeah oh man and when you're right in like a blitz time scramble and people are watching guys forget about it like you will never feel your heart like, yo i think we ready cost your chest oh here we go all right sure at midnight let's get sparring here cool we got one more name actually okay cool yeah it had Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just kind of choose players based on uh, whoever is just closest to you guys, and okay. uh, I'll try to get some even, even matchups. Okay, so we wanted Michiko and Amanda. All right, guys, I'm gonna uncheck a lot of your names, but then I'll be checking you back in. Thanks, Midnight. So we got that. All right, as far as in, let's go. Let's go. Oh wow, you got a 2400. Jeez. Yeah, we got a 2400. That's right. We ready. <laughs> we are ready. Yeah, St. Louis chess player in our chat is ready to go to work. Yeah, well, they all are. They all we, but we were saying like, you know, the chess dojo team is like it was like, man, they ready to die for the chess dojo. They came out 30 deep just like immediately. They are ready. They they would do anything for us. <laughs> they ready to die. Yeah, they was ready to die. It's like insane. It's like nuts. At a drop of the dime, they ready to die for Chad Dojo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, let me know. Yeah, if we have like a 24 or 2300 that wants to get in, we definitely have a spot. Um, so let's see, looking for, okay, Propeshka, you're in. Um, yeah, David Menchik, let me get you in as well. And let's see. Okay, another. Let's see, 1700. Okay, Wu Tang Wang. Uh, Chaxis. Oh, let me actually switch over to this one. Okay, Banusos as well. Let me find you. Uh, stage watch. Okay, actually, I need to clear these uh, these brackets. There we go, that's better. Okay, Tally Potter, you're in. And I think Falk needs you as well. Okay, Cheesy and Offer, you guys are in as well. Let's see, who are we missing? Oh, need one more. Guys, I need one more player around uh, 800, 800 to 900. So if you're in the chat, you want to play, let me know.
Jedi Knights. Michiko, is that the, um, what's the exact chess.com username? Perfect. Jedi Knights can be in, but let me know exactly uh, what the username is. Awesome. Thanks. Okay. Jedi Knights is in. Hey, Froya Chess with the raid. Welcome. Okay, and then we need one more player who are we missing still. Oh, we can use one more player, guys, uh, between 900 and 1,000. Actually, oh, we had Steve North. All right, Steve, you're in. You're the closest we can find. Okay guys, we have our roster. 16 boards. I think these are gonna be the pairings. Um, unless <laughs> we get a higher board one, then I'll, I'll switch you out for TS Riff. Um, TS Riff, I'm totally happy for you to play. Good luck. <laughs> but if we get a higher rated player, then maybe we'll switch them out. Yeah, make that make that top board closer. But otherwise, things are very close. Steve, you are in. I have you on board eleven. So guys, make sure if you're on the list that you do actually want to play. You are on my list. Yeah, we'll be doing one game at a time, starting with uh, board sixteen and then working our way up. guys a what's your what's your rating actually we could use a might be able to use a board one oh I don't I don't see the link let me know your oh yeah yeah we can we can put you in let me know your chess.com username yeah just let me know your username okay cool yeah we ready Okay, great. I have actually one player I'm subbing in. We found uh, slightly higher rated okay. on the top board. But I think we're good to go. Oh, you got one more player as well. Yep. Oh, perfect. Oh, wait, sorry. My bad, my bad. <laughs> Added them to the wrong list. Here we go. Okay, so door, I am taking you out. I apologize because TS Riff is very close to uh, to Spari, so we want to keep it as close as we can. Okay guys, so here's our list. Yeah, if you're not on the list, I'm sorry, we'll try to get you in next time, but it really just depends on who ends up on the other team. We're just trying to keep the pairings as even as we can, so it really just uh, is based on the ratings. Um, but this will be it. We'll be starting with the bottom board. So Michiko, Amandala, you guys will be up, up first. And um, when it's time for your game, yeah, you'll need to be in live chess. Mm. Okay. You absolutely need someone to take the team. Uh, oh, we good now. Yeah, we good now. We're set. We set and ready midnight. Sweet. Um, well then. Yeah, we just... We had 16 boards. Okay. Uh, we'll be starting with board 16. And basically, when both players are ready, I can uh, start their match in chess.com. So they just got to be in live chess. Okay. LAH, I think you're ready, right?
Let's go and fight him. He says that he's ready. Okay, cool. Michiko, hopefully you're ready as well. You've been <laughs> you've been in chat. So here you go. Uh, we'll be starting the game shortly here. Oh, make sure you're in live chess. L-A-H. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're not um, online yet. Yeah, I'm trying to follow him. Speaking of follows, guys, in the meantime, can we give James a quick shout out to you guys? Go follow his channel and uh, catch him streaming as well. He's definitely a Appreciate friend that. of the dojo. Appreciate that, guys. Thanks for the follows, dojo, chess dojo. And of course, you know, over there, guys here at the GM factory. If you don't know about the, the chess dojo, you slip in, right? You know, hey, they, they, it's a squad. And they learned a lot. I learned a lot of fair, I'm not even lying. So definitely hit him with the follow. Man, these stun photos are killing me. It's all good, D-Price. Get ready. You in live chess? All right, L-A-H is in live chess. All right, here we go. So L-H-A is in live chess. What? Oh, I didn't use follow. Hmm, still not on. So one issue sometimes, they got to be in live chess, like, oh. on, um, on your computer. Yeah. Like, if you're on the app, it doesn't quite work the same. Are you in the comp are you on the computer, L A H? And you being open challenges. No, you want to click play and then live chess. So if you wanna if you're on the left hand side, hover over play and then click the live chess one. Make sure you hover over play. Okay, he's in. Okay. He's in. Cool, cool. Because I'm able to follow him now. All right. Yeah, game has started. Good luck. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. Good luck, guys. Good luck. So, do we mute Coastia while we talking or no? The this game's on? Um, you know, I figured we'd, we'd uh, talk oh, we, on okay. the game together. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Cool. So, this D takes C4 stuff. I'm not D4. You're D4 all day. So, Queen's Gambit accepted. This is your kind of stuff right here, big fella. So, what do you think? We'll see. I'm not sure how much theory we're gonna get out of these players <laughs> i think it's gonna get real sharp i wasn't expecting this for michiko actually. i actually had i had no idea but so far solid looks like maybe white will take the pawn back now i mean it, it's about equal here yeah bishop take he's doing good too bishop takes c4 lah let's go baby right he's taking of course this looks like a what i say reverse french i have a, a lot of students to play this that uh, they just play this reverse French setup. And honestly, I'm not, and this is not my style, but it actually is pretty solid for beginner players from what I've learned. I think the French, have you ever played the French Coast? Yeah, I've played it for many years. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you did. I remember a game I lost against you in the Blitz game. It was French. And I was like, yeah, you played the French. I played the Nice <laughs> E3, you played uh, classical A6 mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Oh, that I sounds right. That. Yeah, that was a uh, Blitz game. But, um, yeah, I played the French too. I had good success, bro. I had good success going up. I got about 1800 with the French OTB. And that's what's nice. Nice. I, I don't like to stream it that much point? for beginners. Oh. I feel like your, really? your bishop gets blocked. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the French bishop. Yeah. French bishop could be bad. This is not a 500 game. Like right now, <laughs> what's going on? These boys are developing. The pieces are out. Bishop C2 makes sense here. This man played queen d3. Now, of course, night before is a thing. Yeah, but you you, sh you should mute your stream if you're playing. That would be great. Right. Uh, yeah, our, our dojoers should know whenever you're playing on stream or yeah, your game is being commented on, you should not be listening. If I mean, most of all, it's just distracting, but yeah, of course, you could be getting some help. Um, I'm really happy to see e5. I was gonna say for both players, like I wanted to see e5 and e4, just to open up all their pieces. So E5, I'm happy to see. Sorry, I had an echo problem. I think I fixed it. Yeah, yeah, oh, I fixed okay. it. I know exactly what it was. That if somehow the Zoom was running through the mic and desktop. So I just muted it one. They both playing like Yoda pretending to be 500. They play like a Jedi. Yes, smart. Yes. I mean, this is nice. I'm not even gonna lie. This is very impressive uh, for these 500s right now. Did not think that I would see this kind of chess from them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're playing. So they're all nervous, actually, on our end. They're all nervous. 
<laughs> yeah, actually, we I told my 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 team, of course, everybody, look, we have to be solid because they came 30 strong out the gate, ready to go and ready to die for Chess Dojo. So <laughs> we got to we got to come out here. We got to bring our best. So they're ready. My boys are amped. Mm -hmm. I like this kind of tactical awareness, 97, just kind of continuing to go after the queen. Yeah, queen's almost trapped, almost. But luckily we have spaces now. Yeah, bishop c6. This is a problem, of course, when you're putting your queen out many times, guys, in the chat. It's just good to notice this. Queen's back to c4, though. Could be hit again with knight b6, or you know, b5 is a blunder. 3-2, time's a factor, too. We're doing pretty even on time here. This is pretty evenly matched. What's the other radius? Let me check out Mikiko. 600 bullet and LAH is 500 bullet. I mean, they, yeah, they really evenly matched here. It's all about who doesn't blunder. <laughs> who it, is not going to hang their queen? I think it will be. I, I love this. We've had like five straight attacks against White's queen and White has just dodged all of them. It's like <laughs> everyone. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Oh, Try no. again. Oh, and there oh, it no. is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yikes. Quick Space grab from Mexico, too. Is real. That is not a move. But, man. Yikes, what a game. Now this is not over, you know, 500 chess is something I have, man, not. I remember, <laughs> oh, it's definitely not over. I've seen some games that I was like, you know what? Don't ever show this game to anybody in your life ever. Yeah. But, and still winning. But whatever happens, we're proud of Michiko cause like she, she saw that queen hanging. She took it so fast. That was great yeah. vision. If she messes up from here, it happens. <laughs> It does happen, correct. And I always, you know, tell students, of course, and anyone listening that is in the sub battle for future reference, you know, make sure you're looking before you move. Are there any checks or captures? This is the advice I gave LEH. And he did very well until Queen H4 and shut the door. That's in that's a game. That's GG. Start a new one. Start a new one. But I mean, you know, as we said, 500 chests, like you never know what can happen here. Sometimes there's back rank mates. There's literally madness that happens in 500 chests. First time catching a string. Thanks so much, Ignopius. Welcome. I got bribed for sure. <laughs> Spari says you bribed us. Ah, he must have got bribed. That makes sense. Queen H4. Bribed him. Rook D8. Trades. Trade when you're up, not when you're down. Rook D1 is not a move due to Bishop takes D1. Let's see if Michiko. Michicho. Michiko. Is that it? Michiko? Uh, I call her Michiko. Michiko, right. Michiko missed. Bishop takes D1 here. Yeah, Rook is hanging. Who missed the free knight? Of course, Savage. Be, be a Savage. These are 500s playing. 500s playing. So he missed the knight. He hung his queen. Yes, he's 500. They're 500. We've all been there. We've all been there. But hey, time is under a minute for both. Got a blast. Good luck, everyone. Yeah. See it. See you, Nathan. No, it's so true, guys. I mean, time pressure makes makes fools of everybody. I've hung like so many queens and like you know, speech has championship matches or just like blitz games, oh, title Tuesday. Yikes. Every yeah. time. That's right. Rook takes d8. Rook takes should be the move. Yeah, I like these trades. And that is a wrap. There's no more firepower, no more heavies here. Yeah, no more back rank. I'll turn up Kosia's value. I got you guys one second. That would be here. Okay, I turned it up, guys. This should work, D-Shot. This should be at five. Well, just move. Come on, bro. Just move. Just make a move. Maybe not. Queen D1. Queen D1. Oh, no. Queen D1, chat. Come on. Queen D1. Oh, no. <laughs> I did it. I queen saw D1. it. Queen D1. Dang. Knight takes B7, hitting the queen. Come on, mate. I miss it. 26 seconds. This is still a game. Yo, <laughs> this is a game, bro. 26 seconds. 500s playing. Anything it can happen. Anything can happen. Down a queen. Anything can happen. Dang, she found that quickly, though. I would love to Queen see D1. It. It's like Bishop H3 right now. All right, Bishop wow, Bishop solid. Six. Solid. Yikes, playing good. Okay. Very solid. I can't, I can't criticize this at all. Extremely solid. Yikes. Yeah, this is definitely not a, a 500. Wow. 
Now here's the thing wow. though, actually. So I actually did a lesson with Michiko and when I did the lesson with her, she didn't know how to mate with a king and queen. She wasn't sure about it. Oh, I told her to go yeah, practice. Okay. I told her to we go practice, one. so we'll see. If we got one, coach. <laughs> we got one. Let's go. We still in the game. We are still in the game. Oh, now, if this was 3-0 here, so it would have been a flag. Oh, yeah, but 3-2 oh, makes it harder to do so. Keep. Don't give up. Don't give up. We're going for stalemate tricks. Come on. Make her think. Make her think. Take that pawn. There we go. Let's go. Make it hard for her. No, no. Please defend the pawn. There we go, baby. Yo, my man's got this. Oh, man. My man's got this. Mitchko's Queen really down. Mitchko's Queen got down. The king. <laughs> <laughs> Winning with the king. Straight savage. Feel like Queen trying down. To do everything with the queen. Just get the king in. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I'm loving this right now. Queen, queen check. Queen a8. Go ahead. Repeat. Oh man. Repeat. Oh man. Please do not repeat. No. Repeat. Oh, <laughs> uh, g6. Oh, White's playing good. for the win. <laughs> <laughs> White's playing for the win right now, y'all. Check it out. Oh, you already know Ignopius. You know. That's definitely a dream of mine. Oh, here we go. King f8. Just okay. Nice. Oh, man. Come on. We're alive. Come on, yo. Come on, baby. You got this. Imagine repetition. Yeah, imagine that. King. Uh, this hurts. Dang, she's going to bring the king out. Get the king in. Okay, king g5. She still don't know what to do. Okay, oh, king, king f8, and we great. Oh, oh king man. h5. She's just so nervous. I can feel it. <laughs> So okay, got the All right. Here we go. Okay, well, now we're getting a draw. White attacking hard. Yeah, legit tactics. You see white out here. Aggressive. Aggressive king out here. Oh, man. This is... This is stalemate, really baby. stalemate territory. I see it. I see it. <laughs> you I can feel, feel it. it right? <laughs> I can feel it. Come on. Come on, stalemate. Come on, stale. Go ahead. Keep pushing it up. Oh, it's coming. It's on the way. No. It's on the way. <laughs> king F3, 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 King F3. Push the pawn. Okay. Ah. Man, that was dangerous. That was so G3 close. and any king move. That so was close. Crazy. This is going to be tough. Literally. Okay, check. That's a good check. I like that check. Come on, get the king in. Ah, uh, shoot. She got it. She got it. She's thinking too. 20 seconds. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Oh, she did study it. Oh. She did it. Come on, here we go. You got this. Queen H2. Oh. Wow. Oh, man. It hurts. Yeah, good game, though. Good game, LAH. If it wasn't for hanging that queen, bro, everything else would have been just yeah. fine. Wow. GG. I told Michiko on stream there will be a day when you have to do the <laughs> king and queen check. <laughs> yeah, and there it is. Oh, man. And there it is. It said Michiko was actually working on her queen and king checkmate. That's what my chat said at midnight. Yeah. That's funny. Wow. And it worked out yeah. for her. Look at that. Hard work pays off. Yeah. Oh, man. GG. Okay. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, GG. Next board, I think we should just keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. <laughs> I'm with it. We got Amandala and uh, MT, MT Peb. Okay, MT Peb, you ready? Let's get an MT Peb. Hop in, hop in live chest. It's time to put in that work. Turn on that saber I gave you. You know what time it is. You know what time it is, MT. Come on now. You got this. MT Peb up next. MT Peb, you in live chest? No problem, LH. We got this. We got this. That's right. LH, LAH. Thanks, bro. Thanks for playing. Yo, MT Peb. There he is. Okay, I'm in live chat. Sweet. Let me follow you. Cool. Amanda, are you ready as well? Let me see. Don't quite see you yet. Oh, there you are. Okay. I assume you're ready. Follow. Cool. Sweet. All right, you up next, baby. Let's go, MT Peb. Let's go. Make sure you mute the stream. Yeah, here you go. Guys. So it's going to be starting. I'm not hearing you. <laughs> 
Yo, LH, you played good. LH, you played really good. You played a lot better than we thought. And you only hung your queen. If it wasn't for that, you know, you would have had a much better game. But even if we didn't get the win, correct, Savage. It's all good. You know, we can't win every single one, but we fight like we can. MT Pab, let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, Carol. Solid stuff. Wow, two nights, Carol. Yeah, two nights. That's some theory. Here. Yeah, look at this That's trendy, theory. trendy line. <laughs> yeah, the top level line, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, they be playing that style. Two nights, two nights stuff. Carol Khan, here we go. Says Ignopius. Man, y'all love this Carol Khan. I'll call it Carol Kant. You know, for a while I actually used to call it that, and then, you know, you play stronger players, you like, you know what, the Carol can, the Carol Khan is. The Carol can be a good opening. It really is. <laughs> like, actually seems pretty even. This is a good battle. Yeah, it's actually. Annoying. Well, you know, this so far so good right now. You know, we'll see. Two uh, set of double pawns here. So. Yeah, oh, actually, yeah, this line is you're... super popular now. Um, so I, I, I would imagine actually MT Peb is following like some kind of chessable course here or something. Probably recommend. Yeah, it. yeah. Five hundred is getting nice because the chessable course is telling you. Okay. Yeah, Savage, let's get it. Let's get it. What's up, Quinn? Hey, you missed it, man. You could have hopped in a sub battle. I mean, we still having it right now. See, I got to work. Yo, thanks so much, LAH. I'll see you on the next one, bro. Thanks for stopping out and hanging out with us and playing that game, man. Make sure you don't hang pieces anymore. That's what you're looking to do. You did good up until that point, though. Have a good one. Bishop C4 and Castley. Definitely like Black's position due to the extra pawn. That is a weakness, but at the same time, helps defend the Black King. Yeah, I am savage. I am. Now I'm doing it. Yeah. Yo. Hey, man. Yo. Shout out to St. Louis Chess Club for the raid. St. Louis Chess Club with the raid here. Snap, snap on E6. One. This should be six. I don't like that one. Yeah, kind of like yeah. leaves black with weaknesses. That's um, right. I have a feeling he was trying to fix his double pawns. <laughs> it's like, no, dude, those are, those are helping yeah. your king. You didn't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to fix those. Yeah, it helps. He helped on double the, the pawns, of course, obviously, here, guys, as you see. Thanks for the follow St. Louis Chess Club. Let's go, St. Louis. Thanks. Appreciate y'all. Make sure, guys, you're looking when a, every time something happens, like every time a move happens, you have to ask yourself, what are they doing? If Empty Peb would have asked that, then he would have hung the pawn on E6. Now, the game is far from over, far from over, but Rick takes E6 is a freebie. As a freebie. You're welcome. Have fun. Thanks, St. Louis Chess Club in the chat. Yo, I'm gonna turn up. Let me see if I can turn this up too. Um why is it so low for y'all? I don't know. That's so strange. Open value mixer. Google Chrome? Nope. What about this? I wonder if that worked. And also Oh, I'm usually watching from, from our perspective. I was talking about um um your mic it was like yeah, can can you turn him up a little bit so i'm trying to turn you up but i think i'm gonna turn you up as much as i can it's great open sound sound open volume yeah zooms all the way up oh yeah i have yeah. a super loud mic yeah it's definitely um yeah everything's up bro hmm. got everything up do you have like the audio bars in your um, in your OBS? I do, I do. In fact, I can put a gain on it. I think, if, but yeah, I can. I can add a filter and put a gain a little bit louder. That might help. Hmm. Oh, that's not too loud. Having six. Yeah, I was very proud, Michiko. I mean, because that was. That's nerve wracking. You're like on seconds and you gotta. <laughs> and you gotta wait. Wait, wait. Yeah. yeah. That was good. Yo, Quinn, are you still in the chat, Quinn? Yeah, I see you. Hey, Quinn, send me a Discord message and say um, change gain four. I know exactly what that means. Just send me a message in Discord so I can remember to change this back to the where it was. Change, change gain, G A I N. No, not game. I know yeah, that's why I spelled it out. Change gain, G A I N. Yeah, change gain four. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate you, bro. 
Is that the new in-game book on chessable? No, that's uh, another one. That's for uh, forward chess. Whoa, that's a piece. Freaky, yeah, Hold yeah, I on. forgot about the bishop. What are we doing? MT Babster. My guy. You know what this is? This 500 chess. Anything can happen here. In fact, I actually will say this is equal. Okay, that's that kind of strong, but... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, you know, I'm just trying to be uh, uh, optimistic because this is not equal by far. But, you know, in yeah. 500 chess, you know, have good uh, good intentions and no, good but mindset, 100%. hopefully. Yeah, we, we've both okay. seen a lot of games that are leading one way and then end up the other way, of course. It yeah. can happen. It can happen, correct. Now, but I feel like in 30 general, seconds they, on clock they so. play solid. It's just that, like, one move or two moves, they kind of just forget, oh, something was hanging, and then it's like, yeah. It's hard to play then. Um, That's a wrap. To lose material. Jedi always positive. That's right, man. He just spotted him a piece. You know, he's spotting him two pieces in a way. You know, because he down a pawn. He about to lose another pawn. I feel like, and we can just say probably about two there. Yeah, there's another. You know, a pawn and, and some time. Yeah, about two pieces there. Some time is right. Yeah, correct. So that back rank. So it's still as long as that back rank. It's covered. There's no C1 does cover it. But there's no luft, so I'm always nervous. Oh, H3. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh that sucks. That was, a <laughs> that was a great move. I was hoping for some back rank troubles. H3 is like a and team they're eliminated. Move. That's a move you play for your team, just to show, like, for the team. <laughs> I'll die for I'm dying for Chess Dojo. I will die for Chess Dojo. That's what they be saying over there. All right, Savage. Hey, send me a message, bro. Text me, Savage. And I'm going to text you the, uh, the thing for four Chess. He got off the way. I like queen f7. Back that boy up. Or you can take on b2. Come on. We got to make moves. Let's go. We got that yeah, two-second increment. all about the clock. We yeah. just got to move. He on the road, man. If I go midnight, baby, you know it. You at the right channel. Midnight, you know where you at. You know where you at. Shout out to midnight. Oh, that's almost made. Rookie 8, queen g8. Rookie 8. We're in the Ooh, think. Go ahead. Keep thinking. Oh, doesn't see it. Nine seconds on the clock. Move. You got to move. Rook takes oh, F2. No. Going for mate. Oh, Going man. for mate. Oh, that's scary. It's hard to see rookie two. If you 600, it's hard to see what's going on. Flag. Flag. Oh, move. man. Come on. Rook takes C2. Let's go. Let's go, Pam. Let's go. Come on. Flex. Flex for uh, me. Flex for me, MT Pad. I'm going to need you to stop what you're doing and flex for me right now, MT Pad. Let's go, baby. Let's put some flex real hards in the chat, y'all. Let's put some flex real hards in the chat for all my subs. Oh man. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. MT Pev. MT Pev. I see you. I heard. I see you. Captain Rogan. Rogan. Thanks for following. That was nerve wracking. That's okay, MT Pev. Hey man, go get you a drink or something, man. Go get you something. Like, go, go celebrate. You did that for the team. <laughs> for the team. Let's put some savers in there. It's all good, Amanda. You did great. Team, baby. You're very close. Just the clock, you know. Just the clock. For the team, MT, MT. I'm proud of you, MT. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you right now. All right, let me unfollow you. Good win, baby. Good win. A win is a win. Even yeah, like I always tell people, if I beat Hikaru and I got a king in the pawn versus all his pieces, and he flags, guess what? I'm framing it. I'm framing it. I'm putting it up. I'm telling everybody. I beat him. It's still counting. No, absolutely. It still counts, bro. I mean, I you know led unfollow. people to believe. You remember that awesome. Uh, video of you commenting on my arena kings yeah where i was like oh you was going Hikaru, off and then you was literally going off <laughs> yeah and he was like that was nuts i was like yo where is it, it was 960 yeah yeah 960, 960 was like working for you i was I beating the car that one and then you know yeah you was beating him and actually you just missed a combo you just missed some combo but you were literally winning and it's right. like it would have been i think that he stopped your win streak but man that was a very dominating performance did, but I still count that as like, you know, near win, near win. Yeah, you, you can't actually. Yeah, you, you know. Yeah, I would count that. I definitely would. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Absolutely. Right. Pokemon is Poggers is in. Pokemon is Poggers is in live chat. Pokemon is Poggers. Wow. I can't believe you have Pokemon playing for you. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right. <laughs> Banosis, right. let me know if you are ready. I'm not forgetting your Twitch username, so please let me know if you're in live chess and ready to get started. Ready? Awesome, awesome. Okay, game will be starting oh, yeah. shortly, guys. Good luck. Uh, what's, who rating? Who are you talking about, Savage? 
What are you talking about, Brady? Yep, good luck. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Here Score go. is one to one, baby. Teams are up. Let's go. Pokemon is augers. Let's go. Oh, Banusos with the, the Gotham flare. Nice. Okay, yeah, and we got a Sicilian here. What kind of Sicilian is this? With like Knight of Three and well, it's like, I guess, a different move work. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Never mind. So, still wants to open Sicilian. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, still open, right? Oh, the, uh, you're talking about Costia's rating? Co Costia is strong. Costia is an IM. Already in international mass. Do you have any GM norms, Costia? No, no, none. No, not yet. Not yet, right? He don't have any yet, but he's an IM. He's strong, Savage. He's strong, strong. I like this opening from Black. He played this A6 move early, and then the yeah, four type takes of Night goes e5 white should have played knight f5 that was the way to kind of refute this one but doesn't see it and now black is mm. kind of kind of okay yeah black's pretty fine and especially uh well the the, the backward d-pawn is probably the the issue but bishop b4 actually solves that problem wow. bishop d6 is that's not the greatest right but it was a you know and at it's this logical. level yeah logical, logical right you know yeah that's definitely one to make you think there just then oh style i'm gonna find out what is this Oh, really? I didn't know that. Usually I see F3, not F4 in open. Yeah, I've never seen F4 in open. Sicilian. I've never seen it like this. Actually, in fact, I used to, you know, before I started studying any theory ever, and I would just play, oh, that's not a move. I would just play, you know, the Sicilians, like an open Sicilian, and then I would castle and play F4 every single time. I'd just castle, play F4, and like play chess, literally. <laughs> and then I started learning theory, and I'm like, oh, that, you know, I can, now I can play C3 Sicilian, stuff like that, other things. Yeah, different setups. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was nice. Let's see if he finds knight g3 or f2. Yeah. It's a nice idea. Yeah, it just doesn't doesn't quite work, unfortunately. Yeah. Just doesn't quite work. Knight f2. Oh, knight f2. Let's go, Pokemon. Let's go. No castling. Now, this steal is, look, hey, we just saw, look, hey, empty peb. You won that game, but you was getting smashed. We're not going to put that away from you. You was getting crushed, but you still won the game. And here... Pokemon is winning, but it's not over yet. It's not over. Yeah, not over, but not, not pretty yeah. for black. <laughs> yeah, not pretty yet. Yeah, no castling, down on time, you know. Let's go. Shout out to the underdogs. Empty Pab, underdog, dub. You know, this Pokemon underdog looks like a dub. We're going to say looks because you never know. Lucky Balboa was getting crushed and he's still correct. Empty Pab, come on. Come on, man. I don't got to tell you. I ain't got to tell you, man. The queen is stopping black from developing. Correct. 100%. Ignopius. Queen to g3. Trade when you're up, not when you're down. Yep. Black should no, not trade. See queen e7 check and then just like castling. Yeah, just keep queen e7 game. castle. Keep the game going. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, and there's a trade, guys. Ooh, there we go. Snap, snap. Cooperative. And castles. Castle, castle. Cooperative, yeah. <laughs> cooperative. Bishop d3. Let's go. Pokemon out here pushing. Yeah. I'm trying to hit h7. It's no mate, but it is hitting h7. It develops. Very simple. Nice. Good G6. move. Good move. My. And here we go. Oh, okay. Rookie one. Didn't even think about it. 94, 94, as I was thinking. Immediately, doesn't matter. King g7, whatever. Yeah. No, Ricky wants good. Just trade when you're up. Yeah, beautiful. Black's not ready to um, get the rook in. So now, Ricky a check is kind of annoying. Undeveloped. About a minute on the clock. You know, we're not going to say this is a dub yet because I don't know. But this is very close to a dub for the, the GM factory where these Jedi train. That's very nice. Very, very nice showing for Pokemon is Parkers. Hopefully we can close this one out, y'all. Come on, chat. Let's get some energy. Let's get some energy, chat. Let's get some energy. Yeah, guys. Can we get some energy too, please? <laughs> <laughs> chess Dojo no, over there. Cool. We're die. just chilling. <laughs> we're gonna die for the Chess Dojo. Pusswag69. Thanks for the follow. That's a funny name. What's Coach Gary's Twitch channel? Yeah, can we get some cat jams in the chat, please? I want to see some cat jams. You mean uh, Costia? You talking about Costia Brandino? Coach K. You talking about Costi as Chess Tojo? In fact, um, I forgot to use the shout out thing. Is it SO? I know my mods know. SO or shout out. Quinn, I know you've done it more than anybody. What's our shout out command for Chess Dojo? Should be SO. 
I think it was S M. Wait, I don't know. We use Moobot. I don't know if you know Moobot. Actually, yeah, I use Moobot for commercials. Shout out Mm. um, Chess Dojo Live. Okay, nice job, guys. Love the energy in the dojo. Love the energy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Now, see, Black is in big trouble here, mainly, honestly, because of the time. Like, the Send game, who knows what could happen on the board, but on the clock, it's very one-sided. It's so very one sided. Yeah. That's right. And the problem here, though, with that, and I've even done this over the board, which sucks. And I don't know if you've ever done this, Ghostia, but, you know, moving fast and blundering because they are low on time. Oh, Not yeah. you. Oh, man, it sucked. It hurt. I actually lost the game. No, that was uh, definitely a passion of mine growing up. <laughs> <laughs> just move, bro. Just move. Flag them and lose. And it hurts. Yeah, just like going quickly, like, oh, I'm winning, or you're moving fast, oh, I'll move fast too. And like, oops, I'm yeah. getting mated. Great. Yeah. <laughs> hurts. Definitely hurts. I have done it. Ooh, Rook G5, threatening Knight H6 if Rook takes G3. That was a nice. Ooh, a nice man. Knight E3, big boy move, Rook E2, Knight C4. Okay, now that Black is just kind of like playing quickly, now I feel like his moves are totally. Yeah, actually, I'm about to say, right, banana or banot, but banana sauce. But also is uh, making good moves, actually, even in this low time. Yeah. Even in this low time. It's almost like he should have started with this time. Right, but now this a pawn, unfortunately, way too strong. He yeah, that boy's queen in. Oh, that's not a move. Knight takes c3. But a lot of times you get very carried away with the fact that you can just play a7, which still wins. Which, yeah, yeah, totally can. <laughs> yeah, a7. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. And then, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, he definitely no, missed. missed. He missed everything here. Oh, Rook wow, yeah, now Rook 8 would have been. Oh, Knight F7, send him to heaven. Wow, Knight takes D8, that's a wrap. Whoa. That's good. All Let's right, go, baby, it, come on. Push those pawns. Wow, hit him with the queen. Let's go, this is a rapster. So it's three this pieces each. That's right. <laughs> Let's go. Pokey is juice, that's right. Pokemon's toe won't miss twice, that's right. Put him on ice. Won't miss twice. Queen takes, king e6. Come on now, you got this. Yeah, get rid That's of those pawns. About. Let's go, Savage. I can't <laughs> wait for you to see you play Savage. Let's go. Just trying to get rid of these pawns, right? Look, <laughs> pushing the pawns. You gotta go f5. No you gotta get that to. one taken. <laughs> gotta get it taken, my guy. This is nuts. This is nuts. Yo, this is Savage. This is Savage. Let's see, this is um. Let's see if we got their name on there. I just want to see. Ooh, Let's I don't see. like FE4. That makes it. That is nice, bro. Good stuff. Okay. Here Let's we go. go. Two queens. Oh, got the check. Man, man, when they know this technique. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Yeah, GG. No, that was well played, actually. That was definitely ah, 100%. Slammed on him. Let's go. GG. Let's go. I appreciate that. Thanks for the follow, Hamza. Hi, yeah. Pokemon, hey, I just want you to stand up and just scream. Wherever you are, it doesn't matter. Just stand up and scream right now. Because that's that was hype. That was hype. Good stuff. Excellent. Great job. Unfollow. Yeah, so the loss means, of course, getting banned. So that's unfortunate, but... That's how oh, we do things now. Snap. <laughs> oh, snap. Could you Yo, <laughs> they savages over there. Y'all dying for the wrong people over there. Dang. Nah, that's funny. That's funny. Though. Well, that's how the yeah. chess bros do it. Chess probably doing it. It's yeah. just like so many people want to play, right? They're like, all right, but if you play, you're risking a ban. <laughs> Dang, I know. And they begin ban. All right, two week ban. And some people be coming back to after two weeks. Oh, he's up. They be having dates on the bans. And when you come back, I'm like, oh, this is for real. Like, they really be banning these people. Yeah. And come back and unband them after a week or two. <laughs> it's nuts. Never seen it before. You only see it at the Chess Bro channel. Joker 21, you're up next, bro. Yeah, Joker 21, and I got Jedi Knights, yo. So um, let me okay. know. I guess Mitch is in the chat in. that they're ready. Joker's ready. Let's go, Joker. Come on now. We up one game, baby. We up one game. Let's make it all of them. You losing Chess Bro. It's a battle. You won't be back for a while. <laughs> How did I get in? Right side, this one's already going, but you can definitely get in the next ones. No problem at all. Beast mode. That's right. Can't even have to play too hard. 
I'm gonna lose on GP. Yeah, oh, I, I didn't see At this that. point, guys, it was it was totally fine to resign. Like White clearly showed they, <laughs> they understand the technique here. So very little chance that this game was not gonna end in <laughs> a checkmate. <laughs> Oh, you're a joker, Ryzai? Right? Okay, no, it's just going to start. It's going to start. Uh, uh, is going to uh, automatically start it for you. So just wait around and live chat. Okay. Yeah, I'm still waiting for... I got Jedi Knights, yo, to let me know that um, they're ready. Okay, yeah, joker's ready. Joker's in. <clears throat> okay, be back later. No, just wait. Just wait. Like, just wait and... Oh, yeah, yeah. You mean be back later from, from the stream. Yeah, you do have to mute the stream. And just uh, wait in live chat. Javago Alves, thanks for the follow. Okay, let me see if I can start the game. Oh, okay, game started. Here we go. Game started. Let's go. All right, hopefully. Let's go. Yeah. Come on, bro. You got Over this. Off. Okay, so we got D5, symmetrical. So what you play against D4, Kelsey? You play King's Indian, right? Yeah, I've been King's Indian guy for a couple of years. Yeah, ago. yeah. And I was too. And then I started, uh, you know, I actually, I'm working with Tangy Ringmar now. Mm, so it's, uh -huh. um, I was, uh, uh, he got me onto the Grunfeld and I, I had never looked back. In fact, I think it enhanced my King's Indian because I started with the King's Indian and then went to Grunfeld. Man, bro, like that stuff is so tactical. It's right up my alley. I was like, why didn't I start with this? Like, <laughs> it's so, so, but it's so much theory, which is King's Indian too. But you know, uh, the Grunfeld course, Peter Schiller just dropped something. It's 47 chapters in there, bro. Yeah. Uh, Did you get uh, it? Yeah, I got it. But it's, it's deep theory. It's excellent. Nice. But man, it takes forever to get through the stuff. It takes forever. There's so much in there. Yeah. And, and remembering it and understanding the ideas is the hardest part of it. Right. Yeah, no, it's so much. I I can't believe you have to like keep everything in your <laughs> in your memory. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. That's correct. Nimzo Q Nimzo. QID more manageable for this part time for this part time. Oh yeah, nice. No problem, bro. I used to love Nimzo. I've seen some wild games with Grunfell and I don't even know the theory. Yeah, it's wild. I'm loving the Grunfell, bro. Tough to play. White has plenty of options. Yeah, it's it correct, Savage. That's the problem. Is because White has so many options. But if you are booked for the options, you won't have any problems. I used to hate Finchetto setups against everything. King's mm -hmm. Indian, mm -hmm. that was my worst. That might be your problem too in there. You may have some. It's some, not my favorite. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm like. Yeah, okay, it's not your but... favorite, right? Yeah, the Finchetto setups was the worst for me. And I always had trouble with that. Runfield, I don't have trouble no more, surprisingly. It's kind of oh, strange. No. Look at this mutual blindness, DC4. Right. <laughs> Vision yeah. takes you. Night hanging on E4. Just night gone. <laughs> and it is not taken by both parties. Yeah, it's the it's the tunnel and night of the right are all mo just devoid of theory. Honestly, you know what's funny, D Shock, my GM coach, I'm playing all three of those now. <laughs> Grunfeld, Nightorf, and the Royal Lopez. Like literally whole switch of my whole entire oh, repertoire. Wow. Yeah. But it's been working, man. We're going Nightorf and Roy with black? Uh, yep, Nightorf and Roy. Or Night or Roy with white. Oh, Roy Nightorf with white. and uh Nightorf and Grunfeld with uh black. Yeah, Night takes C four. What just happened? Castles takes takes. So in general, I like White's position here because I feel like the structure yeah, is solid definitely. and the knights have some nice squares. But we'll see. Definitely a strange position. You the bishop would usually be on like g7 in these cases. But I learned this actually from Roman. Roman DG has, or Gingy has really is one of my favorite like ever authors, coach, all that. So. Um, I remember he said in accelerated dragon stuff, you can't play, and this is, I just learned this, you can't play E6 and G6, or E6 and G anything, G6 or G5, um, because of the diagonal issues. So like D6 is weak, and like all the dark squares are weak, and the dark square bishop has to choose a diagonal to sit on, whether it's F8 to A3 or H8 to A1. Either one of those diagonals you have to choose. And you see you got dark square problems here right now. After yeah, because Bishop's not on either of these diagonals, so I couldn't be right. Bishop's all the way. Right. This is like, oh, this is rough. Oh, Knight of Six, Very rough. find. Yeah, takes, takes. There is no mates, and I do have the two Bishops, but it is about working them. It is about working them correctly. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, White maybe could have not even taken the Rook. Maybe, I think coming in with the Queen was even better. Oh, uh, yeah, Queen, queen H7. H7. Ooh, that would have been gross. Queen H7, Rook G6. Queen check, King E7. It might be running away miraculously. 
I feel like he needs at four some point, yeah, a nice pass to give him game away to two. He needs to play the ground fail. Yeah, bro, that ground fail is serious. Say takes, takes. Oh, mm -hmm. that's a rook. We that back in the game, huge. baby. Yep. We back in the game, he says. It ain't over yet, he says. It ain't over yet. Yeah, we got that exchange that back, bro, but we got it back. That's what we do. We don't go down without a fight. Knight to seven, he need five. What's the pawn count? Are they even? Three, six. Oh, snap. For some reason, I thought he was down something. But he's actually not down anything anymore. White's still better, though. Slightly. Yeah, White's still good. I am trying yeah. to, um... No, I'm definitely trying to give these guys, um... You know, their credence, because... Yeah, I mean, for this level, I think White is playing fantastic. Like, yeah, excellent correct. game. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And what does it say? Uh, I tried to learn a Night Orf, but Knights would always end up on D5 square, and I get destroyed. That does happen, and there are certain ways that you have to deal with that. This is why the study is very important, because you have to understand when and why. Why is this guy playing for this dojo? You know, I don't know. You know, I don't know if he trolled. You know, he says, I got Jedi Knights, yo. Like, but but we over here, this is the GM factory where the Jedi train. This is what we do. And he over there at the dojo. Oh, wow. You know, I got Jedi Knights, Oh, yo. you guys you are actual it. Jedis over there, right? Yeah, we that. actually actual Jedi. Oh, yeah, but shoot. he, you know, he's over here trolling us, but that's okay. Wow. That's okay. We're going to hit this man with a move. Man, that's a long con because he's had his account for like years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's an exception. Well, that's an exception, Quinn, right? That's just funny. How much harder is it to become GM instead of I am? Oh, much harder, of course. You know, it's 100, 100 more points, three more norms. You know, you had to do 100 points for 2,400 and three norms. And to do 100 more points and three extra norms is extremely difficult. But very possible. Yeah, that was an unfortunate yeah. tactic. Yeah. Queen oh, wait, hold on. Let's see that again. Wait, what happened? We have a queen? I've done that. Let's you play go. a tactic and then, and then you resign. Oh, my goodness. He blocked with his whole face. His whole face. Maybe mouse slip. Maybe. That's possible. Maybe want a queen b7. Also time as well. Found the tallest building he could find and jumped off of it. That is not a move. Send the stretcher. We're going to send it, my guy. Where did his queen go? I don't know, D-Shock, but we don't even care. <laughs> you don't even care. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Popo Dap. They take. Yeah, unfortunate. And unfortunate, guys. It was a good game. It was a good game. It could have been a yeah, slip, mouse slip. Yeah, absolutely. That. Yeah, it could have been a mouse slip. Also, time trouble as well. Uh, he wasn't. It wasn't that low for him, but it was low enough for mistakes. I think, especially at the lower levels and stuff. But it's an interesting move. Yeah, Queen B8. He thought something. Else. He could have sat Queen for deep and still be winning. Yeah, correct, correct. Thanks for the follow, Jan or Jan42. It could be Jan or Jan, or Jan, but either or. You know, I never, you know, Kosi, it's funny, like we say Jan, uh, it's Jan, but I never, before chess, I've never seen anyone say Jan, call it Jan, you know what I mean? Huh. So funny. Huh. Queen B1, mate. Let's go, Joker, yeah, GG. let's go. GG, man. Sorry, Jedi Knights, if you're if you're listening. It was a great game, though, uh, until the Unfollow. until the slip. Uh, oh man, let's go, man. Joker, big fella, I see you out here. I see you out here. Great stuff there. Great stuff. You came and represented. You yielded that lightsaber like a young crow. And uh, and we we like it. Now, of course, it wasn't the cleanest. But it doesn't have to be the cleanest to still be a dub, my sir. Yeah, I mean, this is this is Blood Sky. This is three two. Yeah, this is not correct. the uh, correspondence world championship. <laughs> <laughs> right, ain't nowhere near y'all. Okay, <laughs> ain't nowhere near. Don't be stressed so, out. Mistakes right. are expected. It's kind of part of the fun, you know. Magnus and Caruana, they played this like perfect world championship match, highest level quality of play ever. 12 games yeah. drawn, mm -hmm. and people were like upset about it because the quality was too high. <laughs> yeah, all right, man, what? And you see how they went nuts after knight d3 in the Petrov, and they was like, oh my goodness, he played knight d3. Like they'd never seen this move before. But you know, it was, uh, yeah. it's not high level, right? Yeah. yeah. Cool, good stuff. Uh, Nardo is ready to go. Nardo is in live chess. Okay, we got Nardo, Nardo up against go. um, Stage Watch on our end. I think that's uh, Flash, Flash Spuler. Let me know if you're ready. We'll start your game shortly here. Let's go. What's the wager in this sub battle? Oh, it's a uh, hundred thousand. Hundred thousand, Helmsy. Hundred thousand subs. <laughs> hundred thousand subs. 
Right, hundred thousand subs, you know. Book it. <laughs> Book it, baby. Ready. Honey K, do you have any advice for choosing an opening? It depends on um what she was uh he said I was expecting more than hundred K. Only hundred K? You're funny. You're funny, Amza. Do you have any advice for choosing an opening? Yeah, actually Kostia, you know, we can we can go with you. Um what uh any advice on choosing an opening? Yeah, I mean it's the advice I give my child because we have this question all the time. Just try different stuff, find something that you enjoy playing and go with that just stick with it consistently or uh you know choose your strong your favorite player and just copy what they play you know let them do the work for you that's 100 percent accurate like i would i would exactly say the same thing that's exactly right bro definitely fire definitely fire there 20 racks all right looks like we're ready so game will okay, be starting uh momentarily here we go nardo let's get it baby let's get it come on now you got this just focus make sure you mute it so if you hear me just mute the stream. Are right, working on your distance opening principles instead of specific openings? Yeah, Hamza. I think, you know, I actually do both of my students. Oh, is this a Scott? Oh, Nardo, a Scott Gambino Scott player. Gambit. Oh, man. Scott Gambino, he didn't watch my videos. Look, hey, if you're in my chat, you need to watch the music on YouTube. Oh, right? do you have a video on that? This is dangerous. I do. I have a, yeah, it's very dangerous. I have a lot of games in the Scott Gambit. Yeah, I am probably <laughs> one of the strong. <laughs> Oh, he ready. Let's go. Let's get him already. Yeah, Knight of six D five wasn't blitzed out. Okay, but it should be seven. That's that's not Almost. bad. C three. Yeah. C actually, in fact, Knight of six is always the best. C three is the best move here, and it takes Queen D five. Right, right, right. So C three is uh. That's why Bishop B seven is a fun one. But let's see if he sees C three. He probably won't. He's thinking right now. He's probably not going to see C three. Yeah, that's not a move you really thinking. like find. Yeah. Yeah, he played Knight takes D four. So now it's just regular Scotch kind of thing. Which is boring. So, I mean, it's still good for white, but, you know, actually, in fact, I had a problem with the scotch just because it was something I never faced going going through the ranks. I remember playing a 2300 and lost. I got my first GM draw in the same tournament. And then the next round, I lost to the scotch with white. With, I played black. I played black, but I lost to the scotch game, not the scotch gambit. And it, it kind of sucked. I didn't know what to do. It's tricky. It was, it's it was very one. tricky. Yeah. Can't do videos. You know, great. Thanks. E P M D. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, this is not what we wanted out of the Ooh. Oh my goodness, he blocking with his face. That's too much oh. pull rush. I'm sorry. That's too much pull oh. rush. <laughs> what is this? He saw the queen this line is... up. It, maybe your guy's like an Eric Rosen fan or something, but yeah, he's <laughs> bad habits. <laughs> we about to play a Stafford Scotch game. A what? <laughs> that don't even make us yeah, we playing a Stafford Scotch, bro. No, that's not a move. That's not a real thing. <laughs> That's um, not a real thing. Wow. That's that's a fascinating mistake, though. Yeah, it is. It is. He thought it was hanging. Dang, man. He tried the England trick. He tried, bro. He tried. He was like, yo, I'm going to hit you here. Then I'm going to hit you here. He literally tried like tried to combine many things. Right. And that's one thing, actually, you shouldn't do in openings. It just depends. You know, there's always exceptions in chess. But definitely, you have to know when you should and should not be um, mixing um ideas from openings a lot of times that can go south very fast well that's why we try to tell players not to memorize because they just remember the move and they're like they just yep. see like oh yeah i have this move somewhere and then they just play it <laughs> it's like right oh i've seen this bam and you're like did you calculate it well i mean no okay well then you should lose you know every time still a game i actually bet on white oh yeah it's still a game oh it's definitely still a game you know we just saw many games like that in fact all of them have been decisive in one area and either one goes the other way or the decisive player who's winning in that position wins the game rookie eight trade should not happen maybe rook to d1 or f1 yeah but he's probably gonna take it right. makes sense king f1 yikes that's a beautiful <laughs> check there i like king f1 in spirit it just unfortunately black has bishop d3 but that was I a nice rook move d1 the rook out. yeah correct right yeah it was a very good move king f1 Rook D1 followed by Rook D7. You have to stay active. King E6, no traces, bringing the king. That's good. Love this technique, guys, with the extra piece. Just getting the king in. No danger. Just got to play solid. Yeah, very clinical. Yeah, Rook D1 hitting the bishop. Got to get out the way. Rook D1 followed by Rook D8, maybe. Something that turned out. Rook D1, Rook D8. Come on, hang the bishop. Go ahead. Think, think away. Use all your time. Think about it, definitely. We will take we will take it, man. Use your time. We need to run away with this. We have two games right now. We have two games in this sub battle, y'all. Nice, nice. 
Yeah, that was a great move. So solidified bishop in there, going nowhere. F3. Wait, so James, how did you do it? You just played like an over the board tournament, didn't you? Yeah, I played in Charlotte, actually. In uh, fact, um, uh, it was there, pretty yeah. rough. Yeah, it was rough. It was rough for, and honestly, you know, the bad, the good thing is that everyone was, it was kind of rough for everyone in a way. No one got a norm. So it was uh, nine rounds, of course. No one got, you know, I think the highest score was five, which was like, uh, you know, that's tough. You know, highest score being five in the whole section. So everybody, it was like a bloodbath. That's super. But nobody got norms. Yeah. You know, yeah. The only norm actually in both sections was Gory. Gory got the, uh, he got another IM norm. Gory? So, oh, Gary, Gary. Yeah, Gory. Yeah. Gory, Gory, yeah. <laughs> Gory know. has, uh, he has five IM norms, I think. Like, he just has so many. I think he must so have. So, got <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bro, he has another IM norm. So, you know, he, he grabbed another one, but that was uh, it out of both sections. It was tough, man. It was very hard. Everybody was, like, going at it. It was like, yo, this was the hardest tournament I've ever played in because of how close the competition was, and everybody was fighting like that. Best score was five, and I was from one of the IMs. Mm -hmm. It was already there. Yeah, Have tough. you played a lot of like norm tournaments yet? Actually, yeah, and no, actually, this is my second one ever. Or I know a uh, Chicago Open and World Open were norm tournaments technically. So technically, uh, ever I've only played in three ever over the board. I see. Um, so and this is my third, or was this? This is my fourth. Sorry. Yeah, this is my fourth one. Chicago World Open, those being norm tournaments, and then uh, I had Charlotte. I've been to Charlotte twice. Back when Hans was an FM, was the first time I went to Charlotte and played, uh, oh, played wow. that. Yeah, that was a while ago. That was a long time ago. They're yeah. tough. They take some, you know, getting used to because it, it's like in an open tournament, if you lose a game, you get an easier opponent. But here it's like, it doesn't matter if you lose. Your opponent right. is already predetermined and they might be very tough playing for a norm, you know, like. Exactly. And all the prep, you know, I noticed a lot of my prep. I didn't get, bro, every game. Every game, they was not playing anything. And I was like, yo, they're getting smarter. Meaning like, you know, I think that's a strategy. If you're playing in a close tournament, even if you even see that, you know, at the candidates, or you just play something different. And Gary was like, we were expecting to see Nightwear from Gary. We saw Sveshnikov, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, uh, I think that's a new thing for me. And invitationals, I'm gonna prep something a little bit different, but probably have a secondary, like be prepped for both, but definitely have a secondary. Cause yeah, they prep him for you. I think people realize just the value of, of the first surprise. Because, like, Giri, he, yeah, he prepped especially Kov, and then against Fabi, he played like four nights Sicilian. He, like, because he knows Fabi now is going to be mega prepped against especially Kov, too. Right. And then, right. Um, so he, yeah, kind of like landing the first surprise definitely has some value to it. <clears throat> yeah, correct. So, you know, that's my plan now. But, uh, of course, open tournament, Chicago, World, Las Vegas, stuff like that. Like, people are not going to know what you they, they don't have time to prep for you specifically right so it's a uh, uh, those are cool yeah that's where these close tournaments when you have like yeah we two weeks to prepare for one guy yeah yeah that's then, fine. Uh, yeah just assume like any game of yours that's like in the database is going to be checked very carefully yeah <laughs> that's exactly what i do right so i know they're doing it to me yeah because i was checking them boys very carefully man this is nuts like you know so this was supposed to be made we just sitting here having a conversation guys and then, you know, we look around and we see a king that should be made on the H file. But in fact, now there might be, okay, almost a stalemate. Yeah. There was almost a stalemate. Here. No, it was no. solid. I, I could tell Black was just very, trying to give a lot of checks, right? To avoid the yeah. stalemate. Um, yeah. But yeah, really, this is just something where you just need a little bit of patience. Just always give the king a square. So here, like queen g4 would have just been very, very simple. Just giving the king a square and then you can set up all kinds of mates. Um, but well, no, that was a good game. GG's. GG's, guys. <laughs> GG's. Well, Nardo, hey, Nardo, I want you to go to my YouTube right now and watch the Scotch game of Starter Cake right now. Starter Cake, or a quick starter. I want you to go in there, and then I want you to tell me where you went wrong after he played Bishop E7. I want you to find it in there. That's your homework. Follow, find it in there, wow. and when you find it, let me know that you found it because you played it wrong. You follow. Love it. I love the Soviet school bully method. You lose a game, you get homework. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You lose getting homework. In fact, it's not sack the bishop, Nardo. Instead, it's that after bishop e7, you have to play c3. Right, c3 and then queen d5. c3, if he takes, then you play queen d5 if he goes bishop e7. You sack the bishop when they do bishop c5. No, uh, Flash, your, your technique was good. In the end game, guys, I don't care if you spend 20 moves to mate. As long as you're careful, you don't stalemate. A win is a win. I don't. That's all. But you know, your ending right. technique was great. Super solid. 
Uh, right. Yeah, Steve, if you're in live chess, that's good. Um, next one will be D-Shock Steve is ready. against D-Shock. Cool. So I'll be starting your game momentarily, guys. Good luck. Yeah. Hey, good, hey thanks for playing anyway, Donardo. And I like that you're using that Scotch Gambit, and I want you to get tighter with it. Get tighter with it. Represent that Scotch Gambit very well, my guy. Come on now. Okay, E4, D6. Okay, what we got here from D-Shock? This is a Philidor or a Perk or a Lion. In fact, have, uh, you ever tried to Black Lion before? No, I haven't tried it. No, I, I played like Philidor type, but not with H6 G5. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, that stuff's fun. I'm not, I'm not playing. I am not playing uh, <laughs> over the board because uh, I know Simon's just daring. He played that stuff OTD. Uh -huh. So I'm like, man, that's that's nuts there playing big boys like that. But um, I've had some good success. In fact, I beat uh, what's the guy's name? Um, Filipino GM. Can't remember him. Oh yeah, Barbosa, oh, Paragua. Nope. Paragua, yeah, Mark. I wow. beat Paragua with it, and I was like, "Yo, I beat him!" Like, I can't believe this is real. So, of course, you get like a, you know, a, a rise off that. Like, yo, maybe I should keep playing this, and then you get smashed, and you're like, you know what? This is why I don't play this. Like, this is why this is not. Really acceptable. I think it's a but good this like is... blitz weapon. It's a good system. Oh yeah, blitz for bullet and blitz. I love it, but no, no, not outside of that. You, have you tried Dirty Harry? Have you seen that? I've seen that. I also think that that's a really interesting line. At least like the surprise value yeah. is is quite. You know, I got like 200 games in that man. Oh, I'm wow. pretty solid. I'm pretty <laughs> nasty with it. But I was like, you know what? OTB. I even have like some real prep. You know, but it's uh, it's nuts, man. That Dirty Harry is uh, it's fun. It's very fun. Special excel, ex, accelerated special call. Yeah, yeah, I might try it. Actually. I call it. Yeah, yeah, bro, definitely. Yeah, it's a definitely talk about surprise weapon. Um, it's very uh -huh. nice, very nice. The go official. In fact, man, I didn't turned up everything. I don't know why it's not all the way up, bro. I didn't turn the gain up. I turned everything up. Everything we could turn up, I have turned up. Go official. So I apologize. Yo, I like this. Yo, this these. Hold on, this is a nice attack for black. Very nice. Some type of like Nidorf, Samish, uh, what is that other one? Yugoslav. Right, his full hybrid, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dragon, Yugoslav, Nidorf. Yeah, these Something are like these are tough to play. Maybe we should go over this game with Steve with Steve later. Yeah. Like A3, that's the kind of move that sometimes slows down Black's attack and sometimes it just makes it uh Ease it up. Much yeah, much stronger. Yeah. The hook pawn. Okay, I like B3 though. That that shows me Steve is like, he's at least, uh, he's trying to keep things blocked. I actually like that B3 move. Shows he's actually thinking for real. Yeah, like yeah. B3 was a very strong move. This is a very educational sub battle. Thanks D, Danny, hey man, we just doing what we do. You know, we just vibe it. And I appreciate you being here. These are the strongest 1000s I've ever seen. Bro, you right. Like, <laughs> yo, yo, they out here fighting. Like this is some real theory here. I mean, not theory, but. You know, this is a real fight, to say the least. It's all about who gets to the king first in these opposite side castles. Wow, so, C3. Let's see. Yeah, C3. I mean, I don't see... Well, I guess you have to play A4 to get through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably just... I mean, Black's definitely... Oh, win. Black's, yeah, objectively doing fantastic. Yeah. Right. Objectively, well, yeah. yeah, you're right. It's just calculation-wise. Can be six works, too? Yeah. We're in brick after B. Go for it. Yeah, this, this is, is a good really, game. This is a really good game. Tough. Yeah, this is a good game, Chingo. It's a good one. I think in general the um the un like the lower rated players have just gotten stronger over time. Yeah, that's it's very strange too. And what do you think contributed to that? Actually, it's got to be just like the internet and like Tools. just like more access to information. Because yeah. nowadays, like, if you play the same bad opening, you will learn <laughs> why it's bad pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like, you you don't, you're not really allowed to do the, like, kind of, uh, all the typical bad habits. Yeah. And Ten so, years ago, the same, the 1,000 would be a, a 1,000. You know, these days, everybody's underrated. That's crazy. That's how it feels. What's your next tournament? So I was thinking about National Open. Oh yeah, yeah. Everybody's going there. I might be there too, actually. Um, Chicago. Yeah, you know. I mean it's. Close. I mean uh, mm -hmm. uh, Vegas. And um, it's uh, it's nine rounds, so it's a norm event. Yeah. You got norm up, so you need seven, right, for GM norm. That's like nuts. Six and a half, sometimes six. It depends on what you play. But the yeah. open tournaments, yeah, it really depends. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, with the Vegas Open, it's like. 
I would imagine it's tough because probably it's gonna be um, 2200 and up. So yeah. basically, I feel like you'll need a high score to, to fight for norms. But for I am norms, I think it's it's very fruitful. Yeah, oh, I'm there. I'm hitting everything norm. I'm hitting Chicago, then I'm going to Vegas, and then I'm hitting world right after. Oh, like awesome. I'm doing, you know, I'm hitting everything, man. It's time to norm up, bro. Thanks for the sub, Elfin. 17 months, bro. Let's go. Yeah, we got a sub battle. Where were you? Where were you, Elfins? We don't need you now. No, I'm kidding. But um, yeah, it would be nice to have you. Oh, he dropped his queen. Mm. He dropped his queen, the mm. whole thing. He dropped the whole thing. Oh, no. Wow. Let's go, D Shock. Steve was holding Let's on. Let's go, D Shock. Yeah, he was. He was. Looks like we got to the king first, guys. That's what happens in the opposite side of castles. I couldn't choose which team to play. To play on outfits, yeah. Hey, look, I understand, bro. I'll be, I'll be on Chess Dojo channel. I'm liking the open I mean, him. You know, no queen, no problem. Still going Bishop H6. <laughs> Bishop takes Rick takes. Still going Bishop. Yeah, I'm okay. You know, I'm fine. Yeah, just like open the file. Just open the file. Some counterplay. <laughs> yeah, I got some counterplay. I'm fine. You can play A2 here. You have Queen B2. I mean, Knight takes G4. Knight takes any of the pawns works. Anything works. Not anything. Queen B1 would be fatal, but uh, even then, Queen B1 giving the queen back, you're still fighting. Strange. Ask, ask Costia what they are teaching them over there. First lesson, put queen in price. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's from Quinn. We're teaching them that it's okay to make mistakes. Yeah? <laughs> As we're teaching them. As long as you learn it's from okay everything. to make mistakes. Queen B7. Queen. Jan 42. Yo, is it Jan 42 or Jan 42? You know, chess got me always. Any name I see with Jan now or Jan, I say Jan. Yeah, I think it's like Jan. 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 And, yeah. and like all of them. Yeah. Jan and them. That's so cool. Jan. Jordan, right? But it's like Jordan. Like my sister's name is Jordan. So now if I call her Jordan, she's gonna be like, yo, what? That's not my name. <laughs> Sorry, man. Too so many funny. Europeans. <laughs> <laughs> name wise, not chess wise. Oh man, that's funny. I'm like Jan Nepo. Okay, Jan, yes, Jan. Never want to block with your face. Rule one if you follow Canty. There you go, Chris. Come on. You we learn. First off, you we, we give you a, a stick, not a lightsaber, because you're new. But then when you learn how to yield a lightsaber, you know, you learn how to yield the stick, we give you a little saber, and you go, it's a little training one. And we teach you, you know, the arts of sending the stretcher. That's not a move. You know, get him out of here, flex real hard, get the man off the boards, things like that. You learn, you learn. And face blockage 101. Two queens on the board, rook takes, king takes, this is a wrap. Definitely yeah, lactose. Yeah, be, man, when you're new, you get a stick, then you get a saber because they knew, you know, they don't know how to do yet. GG, let's yeah. go. Well, That's we'll a play. dub. We'll play. Let's go, D-Shock. I'm happy with all let's the games go. where it's like one side yeah. is just like leading start to finish. Yep. That oh, absolutely. Game. That was very good. That was, a, that was a good game. That really was, yeah. That really was. That was a, a, a tough one from both of them, to be honest. Is he not here? Did I spell it wrong? It was a C. Oh, that's why. Unfollow. S. H -O -C -C -O. Yeah, well played, Steve. Nice. All right, training power up. You already know what time it is, big guy. Hop in there. Let's uh, do what we do. Turn that saber on. Take your robe off. Follow uh, training power up. Okay, offer. You are up next. I hope you're in live chess. Let's go, training power up. Let's get it. The next game going. Solid opening. Yeah, that's nice. No cap, I don't know if I've ever tossed it in the middle of the match. Let me stop. Um, stop, D-Shot. Yo, good game, D-Shot. Appreciate that. Um, thank you for the game, bro. That was fire. You came and you did what you were supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Our game about to start. Going to be starting. Training power up. Let's get it. D-Price, you up power. next. Oh, we got an English. 
Yeah, yeah what you play against English? I, H5. Okay. Dude, this is what we what? teach. <laughs> Stop it. No, you don't. No, this is uh, this is our, our guy off for This is his specialty. He loves just starting with H5. English, H5. That's so yeah, funny, he does this bro. Every time. <laughs> oh, man. You know, if you see my most recent, I just did the uh, H3 um, um, Stockfish game. I just recently, just recently posted it on chess.com for the YouTube channel, for the mm -hmm. YouTube. But I did analysis of uh, Stockfish versus Lila Chess Zero, right? Le uh, Stockfish started move one H3. Hmm. And beat Lila Chess, nuts. It was nasty sacrifices and stuff. Wow. But uh, it was just like, wow, H3 was the first move. That's it was surprising. Just insane. Very surprising. It blew me away. So yeah, they yeah. go H4, H5 every game. We've been trying to talk them out of it for months, but it's just not. <laughs> H4, H5. It's just not working. No, nah, bro. No, nah, let me let me just play it, bro. Yes, our students are. No, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just play it. I'm gonna show you. At the same okay. time, we always All say right. like play the openings you believe in. You know. So what can we do? <laughs> <laughs> well, I believe in this, coach. Okay. All right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What are you playing against the English? Are you going e5 or are you playing? Let's try to make it King's Indian style. <laughs> Knight of six, g6, bishop g7, d6. That's what I used to do. So ultimately, I'm okay with it. And you know, as you can see, like since the first move, Black has just played like a normal London setup, and now mm -hmm. it has like perfectly good position, like knight g4, and um, like yeah. Black's play is actually really nice. Totally fine yeah. here. Yeah. So it's yeah, a weird I started one, yeah. with the symmetrical. <laughs> symmetrical English is what I learned from um, Roman, but it sucked. It was just like boring, bro. I'm like, man, this is boring. Like, how can I find something more my style? Because, you know, I'm super aggressive in the tactics all the time. So I was looking for something and um, I just couldn't find anything. <laughs> I still couldn't <laughs> find anything. King's Indian was, uh, I was trying that, but, you know, Steve, and then, like, I'm trying to go Grunfeld, which Peter doesn't have anything on that yet like how to face the English and ready setups. So mm. I'm like, what do I do? Do I go back to KID? I can, but I'm trying to Oh, right. It out. Well, I think a lot of Grunfeld players, they start with G6 against C4. So you don't commit the King's Knight super early. Oh, uh, I didn't think of that. That's something to yeah. think about. Actually. That's what I I also do. Cause I, I also want to like kind of play with the move order a little bit, even as a King's Indian player. So starting with G6 right. against C4 makes sense. Cause um, I like that. I like that. I might actually implement that, bro. Yeah. That's something I've never done. But there's some weird lines. C2 like, you got to be ready for, like, E4 from white and this kind of thing. Right. And then it's Kings Indian territory, D6, Bishop G7. But, but so that's the thing. Like, if you don't want to play Kings Indian, you can play, like, you know, Modern. C4, G6, E4, E5. Like, there are some weird systems Four, like five. that. Whoa. You that's can kind of take it. That's Bob Vinick's setup. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's how Grunfeld yeah, players fire. do it. As a Kings Indian player, if they just go E4, D4, yeah, I'll just play Kings Indian. But um, right. for Grunfeld players, you have to kind of. Look for different options. Down. That's a bet, man. Thanks for that. I actually got some some old material from Peter too, so I'm gonna see if he ever talks about it. But mm -hmm. that's something I never even talked about. G6. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna check that out. Symmetrical is the easiest. Yeah, I tried that. I tried symmetrical over the board twice ever, and both of them draws. One was a 20 feet, 2150. I was mad about that draw. And then the other one was uh the other guy, I am, who's an international master. I forgot the dude's name, but international master. And uh, both of them were a draw. Up and all the way, says Quinn. That's right. Let's get it. We have four? No, we have, well, we're at four. It's four to two. So we got up four games. We have two games. Oh, Savage, yeah. You see it. You see it, bro. Bishop takes G7. What's going on here? Bishop C5 is almost deadly, but it's not. Luckily, we got D4. Ooh, I like black, though. Some of these black. Yeah, opposite size castling. You know, like I would just go rook G8 here and. Get ready to sack Bishop D6. I'm hoping Man, Black is just getting ready to sack here because that's yeah kind of how you have to play this. Everything's aimed at Black and White right here. Bishop Queen look nice on that diagonal. Rook on H2. Luckily the Bishop stops the uh, H8. The Rook from doubling. Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing. But other than that, and this is opposite side castles. Another opposite side castle game like the last. And whoever wins those. Well, whoever gets to them kings first, right, is, is over. Oh. Okay, oh, good. Wow. I think Knight this is kind of too. Ooh, good in this spirit. This is funky. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, good in spirit. Yeah, yeah. So what's the, well, bishop takes knight f3. Knight g4, I think, runs in that f5. For some reason, that just looks really strong. Queen takes g6. And then bishop h2. No, that can't work. Whoa, yeah, that can't work Rook either. H2. Okay, that might be a lot. So there's no sack and everything. And there's no bishop. Throw the whole sink at him. Give him everything we got. 
Yeah, this is too much. Yeah, I can't really count because this is a rook, and now we're just making uh, quiet moves. A little bit too overzealous there, but. We'll Give see. him everything we got. Give him everything. I didn't realize the queen was defending everything there. Yes, the queen is defending a lot. We're doing good here. He's doing good. Training power is doing good. He just got to try to close this one out without hanging anything. We're getting made it because it is. He's not out of the woods yet, but he's working on it. He should have just doubled on the H file with the rooks. In fact, he couldn't actually. He went on Igno um, Ignopius. The bishop on B2 was stopping the rook on H8 from uh, doubling or any rook, anything going down. Okay, so E5. Takes. I think that was probably for check. Rook H8 check. Yeah, probably why. Rook H8. And then we just. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no, there's no bishop C5. There's no bishop c5, luckily. Right. We might see like b6 from black here. b6, hey, go all in. Why not? It's really. Right. Yeah, it's, uh, the only time you play hope chess, hope chess is when you hope that you can just win or, or they blunder or whatever. You hope. The only time to play hope chess is when you are absolutely losing. If you're losing, absolutely hope for it. Hope for anything. Keep the hope up. Yeah. Okay, c5, five. shut it down. Shut everything down. Let's see if I'm closed. Shutting it down, y'all. Looks you one good. B6. Black is just playing Shut like he's down. not down a rook. Wow. <laughs> he's just. Yeah, so oh, just lollygagging. Coming right through. I'll be fine here. But I think that's the right way well, to play because there's nothing black can really do. So might as well just hope your opponent messes up. Okay. Take, take. Whoa, look at him fighting. Okay. You got to play d4 or rook takes c5. Let's see if he finds any of them. And it's 30 seconds on the clock. He found d4. Four. Takes. You can't take with the bishop. Let's see if he sees it. Uh-oh. Oh, he in trouble if he misses this up. Uh-oh. Yeah. Now it if be you let d3 happen and then rook f2 and queen takes g3. Yeah. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. Yeah, this could be dangerous. Oh, he's letting it happen. Bishop d4. Oh my goodness. 18 seconds. Come on, Trinity Power Up. Stop this. Yes. Whoa. Man. Take with the queen. Take with the queen. <laughs> what are you doing? He's running out of time. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe this right now. Bishop F1. You don't have any other things to do. What is he Amazing. doing? It's his face blockage 101. Oh, this man. is a family channel. Just panic. What is this? It's just panic. What is this? The man jumped off the deep end, found the tallest building he could find, and jumped off of it. We're going to send the stretcher to his address. Wow, that's not a move. The man jumped. The man lost his absolute. It's, it was 20 seconds there. That was tough. That was tough. Yeah, yeah, it was tough for both parties. Dang, Trini. No. Max Sturgeon, what up, bro? My eyes can't see that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> Very nice man. sacrifice from our guy. Calculated. <laughs> hey, calculated sacrifice. Calculated all the way. Oh, through. man. Trini. Trini, you was winning that. Trini, you had it. You had it, Trini. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, two for two. Can't quit it's H5. Good, Won the game. Can't quit it. <laughs> all right. You can't quit it. All right, D-Price. All right, I'm only crawling this one. D-Price can wipe this man off the board. I don't know who you got, but I know the D price is a very underrated 12. I mean, okay. dumb. Oh, well, we got Cheesy. Cheesy's not bad. Cheesy, cheesy not Driver. Bad. You know what you are, actually. I actually remember Cheesy Driver's name. So that actually is a good thing. Cheesy Driver actually is pretty good because I can remember your name. Okay, let's do D price. Follow D price. It All right, Cheesy, right. hopefully you're ready. Let me know in the Twitch chat that you're around. D price is in. in live chess. Black sack work after all. <laughs> No, but, but nice job off of a shock. Yeah. I mean, you you definitely kept your cool in the uh, the time scramble. That was definitely well played. That's correct. Yeah. Okay, guys. Correct. We'll be starting next game here. Yeah, cheesy's also equally underrated. Yeah, you're right. Because D Price definitely underrated. So he got somebody that's matched with him that's the same. Yeah, yeah I remember cheesy. <laughs> yeah, cheesy is yeah cheesy's underrated too. So this is gonna be a this is actually gonna be a pretty good game. This one and going up from here are actually all gonna be really really good games, stronger games. Yeah, yeah. D price, yeah, we got this by lactose. H6, A6. Uh, you can, Master. You can. Oh, B6 here. He's playing the B6 Your one. Your boy's a Gotham fan. 
Right. Yeah, he is actually. He's got a fan. Yeah. Falcon fan. But it should be seven. Owens defense is what this. Well, Owens defense is B6.1, but this still transposes. Yeah, yeah, same thing. Yeah. No, he's not against no problem. H6, A6. And it's like knight D2, I like this. Very solid. So you can still put the pawn on C3 for white and then mm -hmm. E5 one day. Setting up type of a London type position without the bishop on F4. And uh, he actually, yeah, maybe not so London ish, but kind of. C5, C3. Yeah, pretty nice. Um, you've been a French player, so you know what's uh what's the plan for black here? Is this is it the same plan with here? But actually, this is not the same French. You don't play this line, I'm assuming. I mean, it's it's not exactly what you would want to do right against like the knight d2 stuff. But black makes really interesting decision just to go d6 and not not block the bishop, just play more flexible, almost like Sicilian type of position now. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It actually um, it does. Wow, look at that. Which I think is quite oh, solid. Some type of Sicilian. Yeah. I don't think I should have taken on c5. I feel like that just kind of gives away some center, but that's all right. Yeah. That's correct. Castle d5 for white, maybe. Castle if cheesy wins, yeah. does he have to shout the price it. is wrong? Yeah, I assume yes, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Oh man, that's funny. Knight c4, knight's out. Usually in these positions, you see the knight reroute to e3 and d5, but we have the pawn stopping that from happening. He played d5 anyway, so e5 squares loose. Black really needs to focus on development. Knight in the center, knight bd 7s coming. Too much time is left. Yeah, D-Price likes to use his time. And he likes increment, but cheesy driver putting up a, a good fight here. What's his other way in this cheesy driver? Oh, don't play bullet, 700. I froze, did we win the last game? No, bro, we lost the last one. We lost the last one. We should have won. Training Power Up just had a tough one. Got in time trouble, messed it up. It happens, you know, you know how I many games. We, we do like that, right? No. No, it's very tight so far. Very close. Very tight. Very tight. Yeah, this game in particular, too, is very instructive, guys, as you don't see, like, not like out here just hanging, you know, hanging anything. They're playing some good chess here, both parties. No, time difference, though, is apparent. This cheesy driver is up about uh, maybe 10, 12 seconds here. Yeah, no, not much, not much. Yeah, not much, right. I played Black's opening against you, Canty, and you destroyed me. Oh, yeah. What, uh, are you talking about the French? Oh, was this my bot or against me, Miles? I don't remember. Rook B1 and D4. Being a French player, Kostia, what did what French did you hate seeing? Because uh, I never liked I actually, the, the Tarash. Really? Yeah. Okay. The Tarash, Knight B2. Why is that? Well, because like the let's say maybe most theoretical line would be three c5 right not super comfortable for black you have to kind of know some theory there and all the other lines i would say are more comfortable for white like the knight of six lines bishop e7 right. all those other lines right what did i'm gonna probably keep looking at knight b2 then wesley so has uh there's 17 chapters on the french alone so wow. you know that's a, it's a deterrent because like nobody wants to study 17 chapters being you know maybe 40 variations per per chapter like nobody wants to really study all that but it is i know it's a lot bro so i was definitely looking at uh i saw christopher you playing the bishop d3 french being e4 e6 d4 d5 bishop d3 mm -hmm. so i was like hmm that's strange so i actually got some material on that bishop d3 one i was like it's different it's offbeat but you know it's one from french players i like to hear Yo, you played it. What didn't you like to see? So I can play it, you know, against people because yeah. I hate the French. Yeah, I'll tell you. What I didn't like annoying. was like knight d2 and white tries to play like kind of solid. Like a lot of the English grandmasters, they like knight yeah, d2, yeah. like Michael Adams, Nigel Short, Howell, yeah. McShane. And then when white would play knight c3 and just go for like the big kingside attack, like queenside castling, f4, h4, h5. Um, that, that was always very scary when white would do that. 
there you That's have it. Good Things I liked playing against was stuff like the advanced French, I always thought was fun. Exchange French, I never minded, because right. I was like, okay, we'll just play equal position, whatever. But uh, knight d2, knight c3, yeah. Knight d2, knight c3. Perfect. Good to know. Yo, shout out to Austin Mills in the chat. That's where I get most of my music from, bro. Just so y'all know. You know, Austin got them hits. Oh, Make cool. sure y'all follow him right there. He in the chat right now. Shout out to my guy. This game's super even. Yeah, bro. It is d4. Oh, he played it anyway, but I was thinking he could take on e4, right? He can, yeah. If he sees the pin. Yeah. If he sees where it takes e4. Where it takes e4, queen b4. Oh, my goodness. Face blockage is real. It's a real thing around here, my guy. That is not a move. Start a new one. Send a stretcher to his address. We got it on file. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. The price ain't going down on this one. I know my guy. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. That's some, that's some premium face blockage right there. Premium. Absolutely, HBO special. Wow, yeah. that's the one right there. That's right, Darian. What's up, Darian? What's good, boy? Yeah, let's go, D Price. Ah, flex real hard, bro. I want you to flex as hard as you can right now. Don't hurt nothing, but flex real hard, bro. That's not a move. That's right. Let's go, D Price. Ah, it's like okay, I just cheesy. dunked. It happens. Let's go, bro. We needed those. We needed all those, my guy. He came, he saw, he showed out. That's right, my guy. Nice. I knew we can always count on deep rice. You looking good, how you doing, broski? Hey, we good, Darian, good to see you, man. Good to see you, you know what I'm saying? Good to see Darian in the chat. Shout out to Darian, go follow him, man. Unfollow deep rice, right, all right, cool. And then we're getting to follow Death by Lactose, you ready? Yeah, next up, guys, we have uh, Falk on our side versus Death by Lactose. Falk, hopefully you're you're tolerant of the lactose. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna have a big problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lactose, lactose intolerant. It, it it bothers me. Really? Wow. Well, you know, I I, I mean a little bit dairy cheese and stuff, but wow. Not fully. I think everyone is like a little bit lactose intolerant. I'm like sixty oh, percent. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that's over. <laughs> Yo, Death by Lactose. Oh, we might have to sub. I don't see him in the chat. And he, um, I don't see him in the chat. And he's not. Oh, here you go. There you go. Let's go. All right, bet. Okay, and cool, Falk, cool. Falk, Falk, are you around? I don't see you, yeah. Falk. All right, Lactose. All right, cool. You're in. Sweet. Where can I get that hat at? Oh, go copy one right now, MT Pit. Go copy one like that. I got to actually get some more myself because I like to have multiples and different colors. Cool. All right, Falk, game will be starting soon, guys. Here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, shoot. Come on, here we go. All right, let's go let Death by Lactose. Make sure you mute it, bro. Make sure you mute it. My theory is that the more milk you drink growing up, the more like you're able to tolerate it when you get older. Oh, that's probably why I am not, I don't have a problem, a milk problem. But I mean, I mean, I, I use almond milk though. I'm more of a vegetarian, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So vegetarian like the last two and a half years so uh oh wow cool. i use almond milk though yeah the almond milk is fine bro like you know i don't know like so you you don't you don't drink i'm assuming uh cow's milk yeah i avoid cow's milk i'll have like yogurt and like butter and stuff oh yeah yogurt slaps yeah yeah i mean if i had to give a butter i mean that would be it'd be a wrap yeah <laughs> i about cheese and like oh no nah, bro it's a wrap dog nah Man, we should have yeah. put Cheesy Driver up against Death by Lactose. Yeah, that was a miss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's funny. Yeah. 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 That's right. What is this? Carol Khan Short Advanced. I have never seen this Carol. Let me actually run to the ropes again. E4, C6, D4, D5, E5, and uh, Knight of 3, H3, C3. Might be DD2. Some type of French. It's just a good French now. Basically, good French for black. Yeah, this is this is like the advanced caro kind of can go wrong for white sometimes because they play like a French, but it's not right. really a French. Black out the bishop out. All right, and that bishop's out. Yeah, with that bishop out, black's doing fine here. And that's yeah. a pawn now too as well. This is really bad for white. But look, hey, anything happens, we've seen it happen here. We've seen it happen. Yeah. Now Falk Solid, he's been working with our guy uh, David. And one of oh, he's been working with David. One of oh, his nice. training groups. Yeah, we do like these groups on on the on the channel. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, Falk's in our twelve to fourteen hundred group. Okay. Okay. Falk been working. So he's nice, working. Man. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be working too. I'll be working with y'all when y'all on the um, when y'all be doing the, the in-game study. I'll be in there. I'm like, oh, hold on. 
I mean, I'll set it up sometime for my stuff. Oh. But usually I have, uh, you know, I got two screens, so I'll be watching. One screen I'm usually studying, the other one I'm watching. Oh, nice. Just dojo, learning. Oh, you wrap at 14 to 1600. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. 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 That's awesome, man. Yeah, bro. That's fun, crazy, but let's go. I love the Shiro. Oh, the Shiro variation? Yeah, Shiro is something. Shiro is something. Just trading. I want to see black develop that night. He could have taken on e5, didn't quite notice. It's okay though. Bishop a4. Okay. All right. So did he take that pawn? He did. Got that pawn. And they trade it. Knight f3. 3, 6, 7, 3, 6. Yeah, the problem with this, like, uh, actually, what's your, um, what you think about the Milner Berry? It's not bad. You know, um, actually, Jesse has a good video on, like, a kind what? of slightly different really? version of it. Ah, on the, on the dojo? Yeah, yeah, on our YouTube channel, it's called An Easy System Against the French. And, um, oh, okay. it's kind of interesting. It's like, if you imagine the, the Berry Milner, but white, um, doesn't take back on d4, you know, black takes on d4, white has a pawn on yeah. c3, and then white right. just like castles there. Oh, so it's kind of wow. like um, Smith Mora style. You let black take on c3, you get your knight out, and then it's kind of like fun compensation, yeah. I think uh, actually Gambit's course, I think Simon Williams has, uh, I think that's what he recommends in that book. I gotta check my theories again. Hmm, but no, that's good to know. I was trying Milnerberry, I haven't tried it over the board yet. I actually got a pretty nice win record with white with it. But it is difficult to play up and notice it because you are giving up that pawn. So you need to be right. Like you need to be right and sharp. So yeah. Some positions are good, some aren't. And I'm like, I don't know. You know, I ain't trying to be out here playing something dubious and it just doesn't work, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, G4 was strong. That actually was the best move there too. Oh, wait a second. No, he can still take on E5. For some reason, I thought he could. Yeah, you could take on E5. You can also take on H3, but then Knight G5 is very annoying. Right. Right, yeah, 95 is great. The black is solid. So this is what worries me. Like black has played really solid game, but now like he has to calculate a little bit, you know, to find clear advantage. And yeah. you can't just win games, you know, in a very straightforward like move by move, no tactics, solid, solid slice. He's going back. He's trying to keep everything solid, but eventually black will probably have to like take some risk here. That's correct. Yeah, and yeah, to take risks, you know, great risk, great reward, but um, it also can go very south. King to g2, defending h3. No rook takes h5, and that, that's actually rook takes h3, is so what you meant, Quinn. But knight g5 was annoying. Knight g5 was hitting the rook on h3 and hitting f7 at the same time. Same time, my guy. Take, take, knight g5, probably anyway. Or rook check and bishop d1. But then, yeah, rook check. He's going to force the trade. So maybe just bishop c2. He's trying to keep pieces on. Ooh, he got 40 seconds too here. What's the score? Three to five? Man, it's close. Close matchup. Yeah. We have yeah, two yeah. games. We have two. But this one is definitely leaning towards black. Yeah, these are always so tight. 30 seconds here for death by lactose. Okay, good work. E3 nice and five is best though. Happy yeah, three was good. You thinking? Use that time. Come on, you got 30 seconds. Yeah, man. Now, made, rook D8 made a difference. Here. Very nice. Rook D8. Yikes. Found. Yikes. Yeah, these guys, this chest is getting better, as you can tell. Yeah. Chess is getting better here. Rick D.A. making real threats now. You know, stuff is uh, it's really getting real out here mm -hmm. for these guys. Now remember this knight's still covering D2, so don't get too excited. The Rick D2 stuff. <laughs> Rick D2, snap it! Snap it! King B7 stepping out of the pin. King B7 sounds good, yeah. Solid. 20 seconds here. But oh, David's proud of Rick D.A. Yeah, yeah, Rick D.A. was a nice find. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Rick D8 was good. Rick D3, excellent. Fox playing good. It takes. It takes. Come on, man. 
Come on, just make some moves. Knight takes e5. Yep. Please don't, don't do it. Oh, I got f4. It's f4. Six. Yeah. Six. Six. Only six, baby. Come on. All right, that works. Yeah, right. Why not? Right. Okay. Okay. Make it a game. Oh, knight c5. Yeah, time pressure. Seeping make it a game. In. Death lactose. Come on, make it a game. The odds of knight c5 actually happening are so low because there's so many ways to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about but if he sees it. You know? It's all about if he sees it, right? <laughs> so I could see someone drastic. playing like g5 here. You know, just position five. move. Yeah, king b6. King, good. There we go, king b6. Yeah. Come Still on, knight f4. On time. You gotta move, bro. There we go. Do something. Yeah, hit that knight and then go around the back way. See who home. That's right. That's right. Knight <laughs> d7. Yeah, that's right. Rook d6. Okay, rookie two. Come on, rookie two, rookie eight. You gotta move, my guy. You gotta move, Solid. baby. Solid. Two. Ooh, that's a good move. Oh, it can take on you gotta e5, move. though. Oh, g5. F6. Oh, yeah. Oh, g5. Yeah, yeah. g5. And f6, bro. Hmm. 10 seconds, baby. Rook f2. Or take on f6. F4. No. Okay. Oh, that's not a move. Pawn takes is gonna be drastic after f3 check. Yeah, that's a wrap. F3, f3 check. Nice. Dang! Lactose, knock him dead. What's up, cat, bro? That bro. this has been one of our most solid games by far. Yeah, this, this one was like... hard, and it's still not over. Oh, he didn't take the rook. He did not take the rook. We in here, hit him, hit him. He's on the ropes. He got knocked <laughs> out. He lost a finger, and he's still fighting. What happened? F three. He lost a whole finger, and the man is still alive. Unbelievable. Oh man. Okay, wow. still some chances. Let's go. Gotta keep making the fighting here. Eight seconds on the clock. I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, this is. Oh man. Yeah, this is nuts. This is very bloody midnight. Me at that. This is very bloody. Gotta keep playing. Keep playing. Keep Eight good seconds. Rhythm. Come on. Get the king out the way. Okay, that'll work. Bush, get the king out the way. Oh, oh he took the pawn. No, white's pawn white's better gone. now. White's a little bit more ahead. Yeah. Come on, bro. Come on, lactose. Come on, Hold lactose. On. Oh no, wreckage. Let's go. Push that boy. Push okay. that boy. Push that boy. Take it. Take it. Wow, what go. a game. This is so even. King h4, oh push it. Okay, this is Dvoretsky territory now. Who studied their DEM, guys? Come uh, on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Both kings active. I love this. Oh, man. All right, this is us. This is, this is, <laughs> we don't know who was going to win this one, yo. Dude, it's like a mirror position. It's like almost the exact same. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh -oh. oh, but White's Rook was misplaced. Now black is should be faster. Just push the pawn. Don't waste time with the rook. Just push. Yeah. No, no, that's a oh. loss of a tempo. I mean, it's still good, but he's gonna have to show some technique King here. <gasps> he takes the pawn as stalemate. Don't take it. Wow. Take the pawn as stalemate. Move King H8. Take the pawn. Flag. Hey, don't move. Hey, <laughs> hey, don't move, bro. Push the pawn. Let's go. Oh, baby. he's trying to figure out. Let's go. I don't know Let's if he go. knows this one. I mean, this is a tough end game to win if you're not. That's right. Totally he knows, sure. Yeah, even strong, not strong, but even like experts. Some experts. Have to have to <laughs> yeah, you can this. mess this up in time trouble. Yeah. Yeah, in time trouble. Correct. We'll see how well. So that's good. Move the king. Yes, mm, you don't might know not. It. Yes, you don't might know, not know it. it. We'll yeah. take it. We'll take it, baby. We'll take it. King H1. Let's go, death by lactose. Nah, I'm just sorry. Don't, don't flag. Don't flag. <laughs> Please flag. Don't move. Think about it. Oh, Think no, about no, it. no. Don't flag. <gasps> oh, that's so close. 2.7 seconds. Uh, see, here's the thing, guys. Sometimes you're in an endgame, like, you don't know how to win it. Like, at some point, you just got to accept the draw. Like, you don't know how to win. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Bro, you know this ending D-shot? You know it. He's playing quickly here. Will he find the king move? No. Oh, uh, yeah. Move. He's not even thinking about the king move. Guard Let's repetition. Go. Let's go. Uh, That's okay. All right, David. You know what end game we'll take you got to practice with the, with the group next time. <laughs> yes. We will take those. Hey, that's a draw, man. It is what it is. Okay. Peaceful. Right? Nobody. Nobody got it's done. All good, that it's one. all good. If you don't know it, you don't know it. Peaceful that's, is up. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's a technique involved. Unfollow. Death. By lactose. Good game, bro. Let's go, man. You held that, my guy. Yeah, geez. You that held was, that, that like a, a savage. Very well played game for the most part by both sides. Yeah, yeah you held that, my guy, because I was getting tough for you. Yeah, stressful to watch. I can only imagine what it was like to play. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was playing, my guy. I saw you. I but saw that's you your working. homework, Falk. You got to learn how to win that in game. That's you your go. homework. You learn that one, you will win like hundreds of these games.
That's right. He's right. All right, Vigo. Vigo, you up next, baby. You up next. I see you are in live chess. I'm already in. And uh, yeah, Tali you. Potter, hopefully you're ready. I've seen you in chat. Tali, Tali, let me know. You're in live chess, ready to go. Let's go, let's go. This was oh, true guys, day. so yeah, the winning technique yeah. for everyone watching is just that. Like, Black was doing the right thing with the queen checks. It's just that when the king is blocking the pawn, this is where you got to take your tempo to bring in your king. So you can't win this one without getting the king in. So we keep giving checks, we force white's king in front of the pawn, and then you take that tempo to slowly bring in your king and eventually find the mate. But it's tough. It's tough if you haven't practiced this one. Yeah, that's the technique, guys. As you see, I'm just trying to make a few arrows and showing. That's right. As soon as the king gets in front of the pawn like this, every time that that happened, you have to step the king forward. And that is what Falk missed there. Can't believe he missed pawn takes. Yeah, was nuts. This is true death by lactose. Funny. <laughs> I'm going to the clue so you can do all those things, putting stuff in there. Yeah. Do your lessons on, on your game, especially on in-game. All right, Tali, hope you're ready. Uh, is the ego ready? Ego 99 or is it Vigo? Oh, Vigo. You know what? I was like, uh, is that yours? No, that was mine. Yeah, he's ready. I'm, he's already in. The ego. All right, here we go. Yeah. And oh, Tali Potter, not online. Tali, Tali, where are you at? Where are you at, Tali? We might have to skip this game. Uh, yeah, I don't see Tali in the chat. Maybe we can go to the next one um, if Sacrificer is around and checks us. Okay. Oh, shoot. D go. Hey, just get some practice in while we wait. Uh, sorry about that. Get some practice in. I know you hyped to play. Follow Sacrificer. You still here, Sacrificer? Sacrificer. 12, 3, 8, 8. Oh, you in. It seems like you're still in. Okay, cool. Sacrificer. All right, Sacrificer checks this is ready. So here you go. Going to start your game. Hopefully Tali comes back. We can do their game after. Let's, Let's go, Sacrificer. Let's go. Oh, we got some. Oh, Sacrificer from India. Them boys over there be dumb strong. They be so underrated. I know one guy. He like 2,500 online. He I was like, what's your fee day? He like, I'm 1,700. Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> Yo, you are like that's that that can't that's not right. Like you gotta fix that. Dude, seven. that's the thing you gotta be careful with those European events. If you're playing an Indian yeah. junior, like a Russian junior, Chinese junior, my goodness, seventeen hundred. Real, real yeah, <laughs> you gotta win a in a technical end game in in eighty moves against somebody sixteen hundred feet. Of. <laughs> you know, that don't make sense, bro. That don't make sense. Takes takes. Would love to see D5 there from Black. Just fix it. Ah, D5, yeah. Sort of I was in live chest to somehow think. Uh, actually, you were correct, Digo. Digo, actually, uh, your your opponent was not in there. So we'll come back around to you, bro. Just stick around. Apologize for that. But it was not uh, any of your doing. You just did the right thing. Just stay in there, man. But, you know, if you're going to play, guys, make sure you stay around. Stay around. Your, your game is coming up. Your game is coming up. In fact, after Sacrificer on um, the Jedi side over here, we got Kia Rosh, be a chess player, Bravo, Spari, and then Subham in that order. In that order. So, and of course, Digo, if we can get your game. He takes D5. Um, should I take here. this or not take that? Yeah, that was a good move. I was definitely, I keep the tension, right? H3. I like H3. Yeah, these guys playing. This is where you get more solid chess here, y'all. Queen takes. Now there's the ISO pawn on the D file. What's a uh, pawn structure books? What's your favorite? I like playing against it. I like playing against the IQP. Oh, I mean a uh, pawn structure book. Oh, the uh, book. Sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, well, the Flores book is very good. Um, oh, Flores. Yeah, I got that chess one. Chess structures. I got yeah. that one. Yeah, I have that one. I learned about hanging pawns in there and then, uh, the, the uh, different opening structures you get. I learned about that one. I heard about uh, Andrew Saltz had a book for a long time that I never went through. The uh, pawn power. Pawn, not pawn power. Pawn structures. Maybe that was the name of it. A long Something time like ago. That. Yeah, that's the only one. And then uh, any other ones that you recommend or that you've read? I've read um, Winning Pawn Structures by Baburin. I think that's a really good mm. one for just classic like IQP hanging pawns, these kinds of structures. Because the Rios book that covers like a lot of stuff, so he can't really. But if you want like a deep dive on like isolated queen pawns and hanging pawns yeah. and all those classic like D4 structures, then. Winning Pawn Structures. Yeah, nice. Jinx, Jinx, bro. <laughs> 
Yeah, so the Boren yeah. wrote a very nice book. Fire. Okay. I love how Black this, is playing this so far. Really solid. Yeah, this is a very solid position. Everything's developed, and the bishop is stopping d5 square. In fact, knight d5 might be very nice here. Or queen d6. Yeah, knight d5. There it is. Yeah, that's a good move. You got to put that knight in front of the ISO. I learned that very, very well. I'm an ISO player myself. I actually like playing with the ISO the pawn, which is strange. And actually, I remember a master friend of mine back in the day. He was like, yo, man, you like playing these isolated pawn positions? And I was like, I mean, yeah. And at the time, I didn't know actually <laughs> what it was. I'm like, uh, yeah, I guess. But like, it, I get a lot of chances to attack. And that is my game. So, but you got to be right. And you got to know what you're doing. Because people that, the stronger players know what to do with these isos. Yeah, I mean, they, they're always, they're very playable. I mean, if you like the initiative, then they're, they're good to, because... You know, not everyone is equipped to, like, defend against the attack if you know how to, like, really handle it right. Right, yeah. So Yeah, and really actually, the more the uh, floor race book helped a lot, of course, with that, which is understanding. Playing, put a knight on e5, bishop on g5, battery on c2, and queen d3. That's literally, and rook lifting. That was, like, yo, <laughs> every play that you ever need. I was like, yo, this is fire. Like, I know what to do. <laughs> Anytime that I get a nice sub pawn, this is the structure. Knight e5, put something on g5, and try to mate, right? Pretty easy. F6 here. F6 um, is uh, very controversial. Right. It's okay as long as the pawn eventually goes to F5, but the problem is this E6 card. Ooh, hold on. E6 was strong because F6 was strong. Where do you put the knight? Oh, he wants bishop takes D4. Oh, you're right. Right. Yeah, that's right. Really right. right. That was really strong. That was really strong. My goodness. Hold on. Let me check Jax's ratings. <laughs> Let me hold on, oh my guy. That was this, too strong. Yo, that was dumb strong. No, I know this guy. His USCF is somewhere in the 16, 1700 range. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah he but just he went off. Definitely he a went off. player. He went off. That F6 move was strong, working bro. Working with the dojo. Yeah. That F6 move was too strong. Yeah, F6. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Sacrificer thinking, though. I like that he's thinking here because it shows, like, he realizes something is wrong. Like, his, uh, his sense of danger is working. Because he mm -hmm. sees, like, he probably sees F5 is coming. Now he's trying to figure out, uh oh, do I need to, like, sack something now? Right? Just because Queen B3 check, Bishop D5 is a problem. But at least uh, it's something to think about, you know? Dang, bro. That was good stuff. I mean, it was pushing tight. I'm in mobile. Will game start automatically? Oh, Kia Rush, can you get to a computer, bro? Can you get to a computer? Because I don't think that it starts. I think uh, Kostia mentioned that. that. It may not start if you're on mobile. Yeah, I got to be so playing on the PC so I can pair you guys up. Oh, Tali is back. Okay, Tali, we can get you in next game. Yeah. Tali's back? Okay. Yeah, cool. they're internet Digo, you up next. Okay, so Digo, you up next, and then it'd be you, Kiarash, because we had to skip over one game because the opponent wasn't there. The book, my system covers it very well. The Asylum Savage. Oh, yeah. I ain't read that in many years. Many years. I think first time I read it, I was 1800. Let's go see you after. All right, bro. Yeah, you want, I mean, you can stick around now until, um, until it's time, until, uh, you know, your game starts and you can mute. Okay, so what ended up giving the piece? Probably yeah. a practical decision, but now it's in Black's hands. Reclown says, never play F6. Yeah, unless you win in something like in this. There's always an exception. And that here is the exception. <laughs> yeah, oops, both players missed Queen B3 there winning the rook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, going back here, guys, Queen B3. Uh, but take take rook c2 queen b3 would have been gg yeah he missed the check via savage yeah it's too late trying queen b3 now doesn't work in fact that was like super losing because like the bishop you just play king h8 whoa but yeah, he's thinking about queen d5 and then white trades and takes on c2 so queen d5 is not nearly as good as just moving the king oh uh, yeah ace whoa how did time get even oh, time no, and time d5. even out here uh oh, he also take on C2 because he has Rook oh. C8 check in between. Oh, he got he, Rook C8. Oh, there's no look at the in between. Dang, look at that little in between. Oh, gotta move, gotta move. 
Oh, he found it. He ready. Very nice. Man, he picked up the speed like instantly, like just a whole nother player. It's always funny when you see how fast and good somebody start playing when they get in time trouble. You'd be like, yo, where was this the game at earlier? Right. <laughs> where was this at that you just became a whole new person? Look at this check. Now you're taking on B6. Yo. A4. A4. Where did this guy come from? This was not the same player. We was just looking at. Yeah, sacrifice. You're playing very fast. Oh no! Fire. Why one? Look at you, bro. Uh, Yo, Chaxes was going to work, bro. I, I did not believe in sacrifice in this game. I just didn't. I was like, yeah, I don't think we're about to go down here, y'all. But we didn't. That's a three point lead. That's a three point lead, baby. L rating. Did you start learning theory? Uh, I was twenty two hundred all, all the right. way USCF. I'm gonna start learning theory. The for real, like for real theory, from an ambition. I'm talking about for real theory. But I mean, nowadays, I think you should start at all levels, but you really want to have um, understanding first before we're looking at a lot of theory. Uh, unfollow. Sacrificer. Yeah, Yo, Sacrificer. Good job, bro. Good job. Good job. One, two, three, eight, eight. And then now we need to follow Vigo. Thanks for the follow, DBUA. Go. So yeah, Tali up next. Tali Potter. Hopefully you're in live chess and ready. Digo 99. Alright, you want Digo. It's sad because Sacrificer no is right, one maybe. of our peeps as well. That's right. Oh wow, he is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you, Sacrificer. Thanks for coming out here. <laughs> Sacrificer, good stuff. Good stuff there. Yeah, you want. Digo is up next, baby. Digo is up next. Okay, let's and we are up three games. All right, here factory. we go. Good yeah, luck. Good come luck. on. Let's get it. The evenly matched ball rating wise, only a 13 point difference. We got a Sicilian and the weird one, the B3 stuff. Mm -hmm. In fact, yeah, this is following Geary's course still. Knight F6. This is correct. Somebody either has been studying or he's just playing this because this is what Geary actually recommends as well. In this order C5, D6, Knight F6. Let's see what happens. Knight C6, G6, Bishop G7 is next. Knight C6. See what happens. Bishop b5, you can go bishop b7. It's not necessary, but you could. Mm -hmm. a6 provoking the capture. Tank tank. What do you play against e4 now? You still French? Um, no, I, I switched over to e4, e5, and then like Sicilian. Oh, okay. So now I try to mix it up. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm recovering so, from but French. Definitely recovering from, yeah, French. Man, Sacrificer, he won our rapid tournament or literally earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. All right, now I'm about to beat y'all. I'm gonna win your rabbit tournament, and then now I'm gonna beat y'all. That's that's the the payback. That's what we get. Hey James, what's your favorite all-time chess book or books? Uh, favorite all-time chess book. Uh, books actually, I'm gonna go with Chess Openings for White and Black Explained. I think mm -hmm. when I grabbed those, those uh, gave me a full repertoire at the time. I got up to 2200 without studying a lot of theory. I had some theory, of course, you got to know some stuff. So I did know some stuff. But when I got those books, I literally, I remember actually Chess Coach Net, because uh, I know him personally. He, he was, I was in Atlanta and I was down there. I've been knowing him like 16 years. And he told me, he was like, yo, you know, you keep beating me tactically. If you get your openings right, you're going to be fired kind of thing. Mm. So I'm like, all right, yeah, whatever. You know, I kind of brushed it off, but I still grabbed two openings books, which were those. And it changed my game. In fact, the same year or the year later when I grabbed the two books, that's when I won 20,000 at the first Millionaire Chess. I oh, won the, uh, under 2350. That was yeah, the I first the time under where like, I saw price. you I saw you play. You were like crushing oh, yeah. the section. I was crushing the section, right? Yeah, I was in the open section. I still played in the open, but I had I had like four points going into like round seven or eight. And that was like good. That was really good for, mm -hmm. you know, being unrated because I had a zero FIDE rating because I didn't ever play like FIDE as much. Just growing up through the ranks scholastically plus funding and being you know from detroit like we didn't have a lot of it wasn't easy for us going to big tournaments stuff like that so i could i didn't have a fide rating but i knew where i was playing at but that helped a lot i had a lot of underestimation but those two books helped me so much i studied them inside and out still some of the theory i play today is based off of ideas and plans that i learned from that book those books actually karpov on the cover and the karpov says uh this is a must have for your repertoire. So, you know, that doesn't mean you need to play everything in it, but definitely go through it just to learn ideas and things like that. Those are my favorite though. What about you? Oh, I have a lot of good books, but shout out to um, Eugene Perlstein who, who worked on those oh, books. Yeah. With, he, yeah. Friend of the dojo. Um, actually, I'm sure he would, he might want to 
I'm sure he might be down to join your stream at some point. I can put you guys in. Yeah, touch. actually, right. Yeah, I'm gonna hit him up. Yeah, because uh, I got him. Uh, I helped. I actually helped him with his stream. I helped him with his first stream. Oh, nice. Uh, we're, we're setting up. You know, uh -huh. I was getting some emotes and stuff from him and stuff like that. So I was like, yeah, because Eugene, I'm like, yo, bro, everything, anything you need, bro, let me know. Because I was like, <laughs> they helped me so much those books, right, right. and I was a member of the site and everything. Yeah, they help us with the chess. We help them with like the OBS and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> The name of the book was um, Chess Openings for for White, and then there was Chess Openings for Black. Explain. Yeah. yeah, I'm putting it in my chat, too, as well. Yeah, guys, it's Chess Opening for White and Black. Explain. There's two separate books. There's a 2005 version that came out. That's the old one. In fact, if you get the book, you made to make sure it says the updated and revised second edition. It comes out in 2009, and it also says that on the bottom of the book. Hmm. I know this because I have tabs and highlighters through my books. So I've been going through these so many times. Now I'm onto the big boy chess, you know, other stuff. Knight or Grunvelds and yeah. Roy Lopez's, the boring stuff that top level chess players gotta play to be the best. So Well you, you <laughs> mentioned you've been working through like the all the Agard books, the GM prep. Yep, I have. I have that stuff's been nice. In fact, actually, most recent best book ever was Grandmaster Preparation uh, Positional Play. Yeah. That's where I learned a three question method. Um has really been helping me play stronger players and add, and find better moves based off of questions that I ask myself as opposed to calculating, looking around the whole board, just like how we usually do. Look around the board, where should I go? Where should I go? Where should I go? This one actually is more like, hey, you know, based off of the questions I ask and how I answer them, what move should I make now? It's a different way of thinking. I never thought this way ever. So it's a, it's a great, great series of books by Jacob Agard. You got calculation too. I went through that one. I went through positional play the attack and defense one and um calculation so but so far the best one by far is the positional one nice yeah i i think that one has some really instructive really instructive ideas oof yeah, wipe down on time here a lot i know a lot of time i was thinking like how did he get down so much time like that thing was he had a long thing somewhere yeah you play yeah it's there. so crazy how play off how, how good in, in, this is not for everyone but how good accuracy gets when you get lower on time like he just played at five here i mean he's making all the right moves got the yeah, still the playing rank perfectly fine still playing great chess yeah just down on time we'll love to see king g2 rick h1 here that would be the way to go but yeah not easy with on 10 seconds very very difficult yeah is chess dojo a rated player oh yeah yeah chess dojo is a squad bro man you need to go first off go follow them and check out the stream they got a lot of educational stuff over there in fact i literally spend time over there i have a top list i like chess weed chess dojo live i got a um, chess coach net chess bra and um those are like ones that i'm always in ben fine go near disky i'm always and you can always find me if they're on i'm in one of those chats that's uh chess dojo live yeah make sure nice. you follow yeah i appreciate it thanks here. guys for the follow. i am thank you yeah definitely and of course follow. vice versa guys you should definitely go follow gm canty if you want to see because J james is now like i mean fighting for norms doing training right. it's like a working player right man i'm not playing no games out here are you playing the right chess book i will but you know honestly the only thing i'm focusing on is the big boy titles now Thanks for the follow, Thor Biddles, HB Bob Dole. Thanks for the follow. Oh, nice, nice guy. <laughs> Dojo guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, those Dojo guys. Oh, yeah. Hey, Dojo squad. Dojo squad, baby. Takes, Queen takes G4. He got three seconds on the clock. Man, his boy moving fast. The speed is good. How is yeah. he, you know, like, he figuring this out? And now he got a slightly, wow. like, oh, this sucks. Oh, my goodness, he made it. Come on, Rick H1. He got to play King H8 after Rick H1. Oh, he missed it. Knight of four check. Oh my goodness, we out of the woods. Woo, boy! Talk about oh, some. Can't oh, he can't take... even take it back. Oh, face blockage to rough. the maximum. That's still wow. fast, though. Man, the Absolute speed. face blockage. Yeah, he playing real fast. Wow. We see this with players sometimes. They like start. they play slow, <laughs> and then the game comes down to yeah. where they start playing quick. Man, that was some premium face blockage there. Knight of four for the score. Okay, Knight yeah. Let's G6. make it tough for Black. Let's see if Black can. <laughs> Please don't take on that five. Figure don't out. take on that five. Just don't do it. Come on, Whatever guys, you, you got to trade. You're up, you're up a rook. Got to trade on that five. <laughs> oh, this is trade off. Rick takes that five and then be looking crazy. F6, it's not a move. Right, keep the, Looks keep good, the but it's not. Rick takes F6. What happened? So you have to do. Oh, yeah, that's a pawn. Oh, nice move. Rick G5. Nice move. 
It's the gospel. You're like all, all about, I am all about Yasser's winning series stuff. Yeah, Yasser got some, like Yasser's legendary. Anything he dropped, you need to cop. You know, he got legendary stuff. Rick takes C5, Ricky seven. Man, it's a long game to be like five seconds left, right? You know, that increment, he making this work. He trying to come back. Yeah, like, like Tali on under 10 seconds has played like way above 1300 level. Dude, this is insane. Like way like, above. And... So yeah, bullet, bullet strength seems to be much higher. Oh, finally he can win something here. Cause I was about to say, yo, if he don't, if he can't take any more pawns, this gonna oh, that's, this is still not this, that good. Yeah, there's some chances here for White. It's this not that easy. Still not easy. Yeah, this might be another draw, y'all. We got two draw, oh, one draw so it. far. Ooh, I'm not sure Rixie's six. Ooh, yeah, I don't, don't know. Don't trade. About that. Don't yeah, trade. Take keep, it, the keep the run. Keep the run. Oh, oh like this. Yeah, not with the dub. Not with yeah, the dub. Black's came just pawn. too close here, guys. We needed to keep the rook. Yeah, king d6. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh oh. Oh my goodness, is yeah, he, he lost? Might no, he's not. Save it. Wow. Yeah, he's draw. It's a draw. It's a draw. Wow. That second c pawn. Man, look Still at the Still not great technique. I stand by what I said. You don't want to trade your last rook there as white. But it looks like he is actually. That's incredible Whoa. defense. Honestly, that's like on yeah. 10 seconds. And on to, yeah, correct. Tali, Tali Potter here, like, that was down so much time. I mean, literally down at least a minute and, and a half at one point. Yeah, and then was down a full rook. <laughs> and then down a rook and still drew the game. Like, you, this is, like, insane. Okay, now Black yeah, needs to not be a hero. Hey, you, yeah. hold on. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, don't do not do this, bro. This is this is on national okay, television. Right seven. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God. Yeah, we got to go for it. For the and there yeah. we go. Take the rook. Take the rook. Well, I was like, yeah, what is he doing? <laughs> Thinking. There we go. And that's a draw. And that is a draw. Hey, man, you know what? You didn't lose. And you got us half a point. That's what's up. We appreciate that. Kirosh, you up next. You ready? Kirosh, you up next. Kirosh, um, and then on our side, Wu Tang Wang. Let me know if you're in the chat. Wu Tang. Oh, nice time. I need to follow. Let me get you guys ready to go. Uh, what do you call it? Kiras. E. Kiras, let's get it. No, how did I never know about this channel? 30 chance I started with Nari. Yeah, linear stork, we in here. Let's go. You choked? I had to win once you point so well. Yeah, but you was in time trouble. You know, anything happens in time trouble, literally. Anything happens in time trouble. No, so, but, hey, man, you, you got that half point for us. We have seven to four. That's right. We have, we have seven. You played great on, on the 10 yeah. seconds. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he played great under that 10 seconds, Jeff Tyler. You played like really, like you can you can watch the video. I was very impressed. That was very strong. Yeah, that was a very strong play at the end. Definitely on um, that, that time pressure on you. Kia Ross, you ready, bro? You ready? Come on, Kia Ross. I'm already following Kia Ross, so I think Kia Ross is in. Um, live chess, I know he's in there. I am following him, but I just don't hear anything from the chat. Let's okay. start the game up. Let's see, so Wu-Tang, I'm not sure if they're in. Let me let me try oh, Okay, yeah, Ranguru, if you're ready, just be in live chess, and then make sure to mute the stream while you're playing, because you're not listening. But if you're in live you chess, your game will start in like five seconds. So <laughs> hopefully you're ready to go. Yeah, yeah, be a chess player. You up next, bro. Well, let me text you back, actually. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. Come on, Kid Ross, you here? Hey, there we go. Night of three, night of six. All right, Let's see what we got. I got this stupid ready. I'm like, I hate this. Hey, when I was playing Kings Indy, I didn't care because I didn't play D5. But now that I'm playing Grunfeld, I'm like, uh, it kind of throws me off because I can't play. I need to play D5 times correctly. C4 sometimes. It's weird. 57 castles. This is from some type of. What, they, what do they even call this one for white? Reverse French? I don't even know. Ready, like, but this is not aggressive. Yeah, it's kind like of like quiet this thing, right? Yeah, I'm not ever annoyed by this by, by far at all. E4 is coming. Come on, E4, Kiarash, you got him? You got him, Kiarash? What you gonna do here? Question is, what is Wu-Tang gonna do? In this position. Oh, yeah, E4, now we got the hole on D4. But there's no hole on d5 due to the c6 pawn. This structure is really nice for black if we can get the right movement. Being knight c5, knight e6, knight d4 without hanging e5. Oh, that's a piece mm -hmm. from the east. 
Because he a beast. That's Let's go. One. There we go. Queen takes D3. That's for me. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to take those, my guy. Oh, trade when you up, not when you down. Oh, yeah, this is over. This is over. Yeah, it's game. already over. Tough game. I think Wanguru is a little nervous on our it's end. It's already over right here. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. It's all good. Nerves. Yeah, and even, you know, when I'm playing matches, sometimes nerves, they definitely get you. You know, I know you felt the nerves when you was playing speed chess championship. Yeah. All them people watching, bro. Oh, at one man. point, I noticed, you know, I learned that it was 60,000 people watching me and Levy at one point. I was oh, like, yeah, Yo, you have to play Levy, thousand. right? <laughs> yeah, it was 60,000 people watching. But you did really like, good. You guys were neck and neck. Oh, man, it was, I was hype about it. You know, I definitely, you know, couldn't ask for more there. I've lost in the bullet section. I'm not playing a lot of bullet anyway, because I'm just training, you know, for norms. But, um, yeah, it was good, man. It was good. Just let me know where I'm playing at and stuff like that. You know, but so much respect to Levy as uh, that guy pushing the tiger. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, my first match, I started out 0-5 against Lawrence Trent. Wow. <laughs> bro. You did? Oh, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it came back like a little bit, but to start out like that is obviously. Wait, but you didn't play Trent this year, though. No, you that played... was last year. That was last year. Yeah, you played. Who did you play this year? This year I, I played uh, Tanya in the first round. Oh, Tanya. I, I okay. Greg. And you play Greg. Oh, yeah, Greg's beast, bro. Greg is nuts. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, Tanya's good too, yeah. This takes F3, hitting the rook. Take on F4. If you can get knight H3, like, I'm always looking, how do I get that made off? It's gonna be, like, H5, knight H7, knight H5. <laughs> I mean, too long. H4 oh, defense happening. against good prophylaxis. Yeah. Not happening anymore. Alright, it's easy to watch games and playing it. Are you posting this on YouTube? Um, actually, there is no sound on here. Uh, maybe, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I usually don't. Um, usually, I just post other stuff, but this could be some YouTube content. Somebody want to watch there? I need a thumbnail. I got my thumbnail lady. I didn't, I didn't ask her to make a thumbnail for this. I have a thumbnail maker now. She makes very great thumbnails. So I only post if I have a thumbnail ready. If I don't, I'm not gonna post. Because it's nice thumbnails now. Do you know Chess Dojo is going to analyze any games after? Oh, he's right here. He's right here. Oh, yeah. So we actually, I just, just responding to um to D-Shock in our chat. So we have another stream coming up right after this is done. We have our Dojo Scrubs coming on, guys. Um, which is our, some of our, like, lower rated members hanging out, doing their analysis. Oh, that's going to be a GG. All right, GG, guys. GG. GG. Let's go, Kia Rosh. Flex real hard, big dog. You earned it. Man, so that's, that's what's up, that's man. Eight, seven. So that's, that's match point for you guys. Because you have eight hey. out of 16. So uh, we got to hey. win out. <laughs> so you'll have to win the next one. All right, next up All is right. uh, Propeshka and BA chess player Propeshka. BA chess ready. player is ready. He definitely ready. He always ready. B. Uh, yes. Okay, yeah, you tell him you stay ready. ready. Let's go, bro. It's cool. on you, Savage. It's on you. Mute the stream, bro, so you can't hear us. It's on you, my guy. Do what you do, my guy. Hey, hey, yeah. There. Game started. No, guys, don't worry Bruce about it. It's is. all it's all training. Why do we fall, Bruce? Huh? Why do we fall? <laughs> <laughs> so we can learn to pick ourselves back up. That's right. That's right. Yo, you got to move, bro. Oh, man, what you doing? You getting me a little spot? You ain't doing that. <laughs> Have you ever flexing, thought of joining the NFL? flexing too much you? before the game. Yeah. <laughs> you got to flex after <laughs> the game, guys. <laughs> <laughs> after the game. All right. Uh, somebody else asked me a workout question. It's so funny. Have you ever uh, thought of joining NFL Kansas? No, I have not, man. No. In fact, I wanted to play football at one point, but my mom was like, no, not that one. But you can play basketball. So I'll play basketball. What about you, Costa? You play any sports, bro? Growing up, I played like tennis and uh, okay. some tennis. golf. Nothing ever. Oh, yeah. Golf? Oh, serious, yeah. Though. Okay, yeah, I was a caddy for a long time. So I was I actually liked oh, really? golf because I was caddy. Oh wow. And it was out there, it was just chilling, it was drinking, smoking a cigar and playing golf. I'm like, yo, this is a sport? Like, what is this? <laughs> this is like fire, bro. Very, just talking very trash leisurely. Like, yeah. Very leisurely, yeah. It was fun. And I, I learned a little bit of golf. I'm not that good. I think you found the right sport, bro. Right? I think chess chess was Oh your yeah. Game. Yeah, chess is my game, man. Yeah. And you know, I work out because uh mind and body gotta be correct. Bobby Fisher was big on that too, so when working out, you know, people be like, man, you know, you train hard, man. Like, you know, you play a sport or something. I'm like, yeah, I play chess. And they, they laugh every time because they're like, yo, you lifting all this weight. You know, I bench press a lot. And then 
Wow. They, uh, they're like, you benching all them just to go push some pieces. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. That's you're funny. Right. People ask you about I'm it at right the gym, them. and you, I love that you're honest with them. Yeah. I yeah, wouldn't man. tell them about my chest. <laughs> no, you know, I'm shoot. I'm a, uh, you know, I'm a, uh, I'm signed to the Lions. I'm on the, uh, <laughs> the bat. I'm on the B B team Lions. Yeah, I play for the, I play for the Detroit Lions. That's funny. C takes, C takes. This is a French Carol Connor advance, but somehow became a French. It's so crazy how they cousin openings. Ooh, Night Takes D five. Mm. Oh, he missed that. Yeah, Night Takes D five was a pawn. My D5. Yeah, this oh, often like happens in like the advanced caro. I, so I think this is the problem with the advanced caro. It's like white plays it and they don't really understand some of the details and they just trade off light squared bishops and now black has yeah. like perfect Better. French again. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, because yeah, yeah. honestly, every time I face this with white, if I don't have a light squared bishop, which of course you need, you know, I just have bad. I don't like this structure ever. Like I always have bad games as white here. And I remember I was working with Arthur Kogan before I was working with Tangi Ringwar. Oh, I was working yeah. with Arthur. Yeah, he's real. I took like eight lessons with him. But I learned one thing he said um, here is in close positions, two things need to happen. If for, you know, three. Number one is you need a higher level of skill. And number two is you need to maneuver and pawn breaks. And if you do, if you don't have any pawn breaks, then you don't control anything really. So there's no pawn breaks for white. I can't break down e6 or nothing i have to play very very wild like and the maneuvering takes a lot like where are we actually going to maneuver i have learned that from him in that sense but i mean i do not like this position for white yeah yeah black has um some nice advantages here but still has to play right oh i love h5 fantastic oh move. yeah oh that's a, that is that was, was a great move it. that was a great move yeah and uh, who was we just listened to? Oh, I was listening to Nerdisky last night. He was talking about carving out. I was like, oh, that's what they call that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I knew it. The, I knew the concept, but I didn't know it was actually called carving out. So carving out was uh, what he just did there. H5 carving a square for knight f5. Yeah. Can you get better playing in blitz or less of the time? No, you can get better playing blitz criminal bishop. It just depends on your rating. I just think you should use. You should focus on a lot of other areas, but use some blitz as a uh, as training here. Yeah, this is not good. This is just. I mean, drawish. You know, probably draw. Very draw. It's like I could probably just be a sitting duck, right? Is there any way to make progress for black? For black, yeah, there's a couple of plans. One plan I would look at is either knight a5 or even a6, knight a7 to get in on the c file. Oh, yeah, a6. That knight a7 idea is sharp. Yeah, when I was knight a5, I wasn't worried about this position. About, but... This was just like 0 1 for black. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. Because white has this a6, beautiful f6 yeah, score, but no way to get to it. Because all like no the... way to get to it, literally, and it's all about the maneuvering. So if you try knight g1, knight e2, knight f4, even when you get there, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, it's a tough position. I Very tough I position. Strong. I like white's king on h3. This actually makes a lot of sense against this knight, just covering h4 and kind of uh, getting out of any possible knight checks. Yeah. Thanks for the follow, Killer V, 2016. Yeah, this is a tight game here. Dang, where this guy from? Germany, huh? I got a German friend. I don't know, speak no Germany though. I've been learning a little bit of Spanish, a little bit of Japanese. I'm trying to expand my my language. A6, bishop b2. I'll play rook d2, probably for rook c2. 97, nice. That is correct, he found it. Rook this looks like top tier nice game. Yeah, it is, bro. Sure thing, love your King's Indian videos on YouTube. Let's go, Killer V! Appreciate you, my guy. Absolutely, man. I'm on to the Grunfeld now. That's going to be next. I'm going to have some videos for y'all on that. Kings Indian, though, served me very well. And I just, it's time to move on. It should be two, Rick C4. Mm, uh oh, that's, that's a, not a move. That's a pawn sack. That's I don't know if it's a, a sack, yeah. but that's giving You might be pawn. right, actually. Yeah, I, I had to look twice because you're like, you might. I'm like, uh, sack. Hold on. No, you, I don't you know if played this meant very to well. the pawn, but it's not the worst pawn to lose because you do get these light squares. That's true. And then you can play 97, 95. Huh. What? What are you doing with your life? Rook takes E. Oh my goodness. Yo, what was that? I cannot believe you that did that. That pawn was hanging, right, chat? We're that not pawn both missing was... the reason why. <laughs> yo, yo, my guy, that was a hanging, hanging pawn. Like, that was for real, for real hanging. Yeah. Well, all right. It, it's still, you know, no bloodshed. But this bishop is absolutely gross. You have to get D5 in and E6. At all costs. In e6, you gotta be careful. Yeah, Queen well, takes I could just six, put that knight on d5. Right. That would be so nice. Oh, knight yikes. D5. Knight on d5, then knight that c7. bishop out the game. Out the game, game. Let's go. Can we get a knight c7? 
I would go D5 no matter what. Right. <laughs> maybe not no matter what, but okay, we got to go D5. <laughs> he stepped right on the file. How do you step right onto the file? King G7 is not a move. Now he should not take this. That would be suicide no, Queen F2 here. is absolutely killer if you can find it. Oh, you're right. Actually, I forgot about that. But, but, but I mean, you kind of no, had to play Queen F2 black is, anyway. He's oh, running shoot. low on he time. Takes... He's nervous now. He's like, oh, why did I allow this? Yikes. Oh, you're right. You're right. Psychologically, yeah. Queen G3. Oh, oh is that? God. Can he stop Just the queen? Take... He cannot stop oh, it. No. no, he can't. He got King F8. No, he can't. No. That's it. That's oh, it. my goodness. Oh, what a blunder. Look at that. What a blunder. And he goes down under. Wow. That's oh, a wrap. Yeah. Just like that. Let's go. That's the match. Be a chess too. player. Hey, that's the match. That's the match our, there, our baby. Team. Sorry, you guys the match yo chess play hey man appreciate you baby savage that's what's up right there yeah, what's up that's what's up that's what's up wasn't your best it was not your best but it was it was it sufficed it is exactly what we needed good stuff my guy so we got three games left we got bravo sparring and sub yeah three games although our Craddock needed to bow out maybe we just skipped that game because you guys have already clinched the match oh sub okay cool, cool. Um, unless we have like a 2400 for us that wants to play and put you in. yeah um but let's get Hello, to the next thing we got david he's ready and uh bravo hey, charlie romeo. romeo okay bravo's ready hey let's go savage let's go my guy you you flex real hard on that one man you flex real hard in the end there um it was a tough game and tight make sure you don't trade that light square bishop in the french like or in those stuff in those kind of positions you just need to work on that in particular yeah. Can't you guys destroy him with the flexible heart? Let's go! 9 4 for the score! That's right. What's up, Cooking Rooks? What's good, man? We in a sub battle right now with the Chess Dojo. Chess Dojo having a tough time. He played well, Professor. Definitely played well. Yeah, he did. It's hard, it's hard well. when he gets low on time. Yeah, well, this is a bigger game here, guys. These guys are ba basically, you know, Class A players, maybe even stronger, you know. Um, so let's see. Let's see what we get. Have you ever tried the modern or the uh, hippo? Not too much, no. Um, I'll play like some perk, you know, with knight c6 and stuff, but. Yeah, yeah. This is actually, I think, very, very interesting for Blitz, but we'll see. Um, yeah. if, if Wack is like a seasoned King's Indian player, then probably pretty comfortable here. All right, especially f5, h6 coming, stuff like that. Yeah, not these positions are not easy, I've noticed, for e4 players to handle, because they don't really have a lot of experience dealing with the yeah. King's Indian engine. That's what Jesse calls the King's Indian attack, like the F5, F4. That's just the engine that keeps going. I know I don't trade the light square bishop, but he was low rated, so I tried it. Okay, that makes sense, Savage. That makes sense. He was like, yeah, I'm going to try it, even though I know it ain't the best, and I might get destroyed, but I'm going to try it anyway, though. Like, all right, and it worked. <laughs> Spari says we keep winning bad positions. Yeah, Spari, I know. I know. I know. But we win it. Well, yeah, but I we mean, are winning. Well, this is about more than just the opening in early middle That's game. right. So. That's correct, you know. That's correct. Mr. G5, maybe Queen E8. Uh, but he has Knight B5. We gotta be careful of that. So maybe what do we do here? There is a lot going on. There's a pin. There's like all these captures. Maybe shut it down. F4 or Knight B5 strong. That is a good move. F4, maybe C6. Is a little bit annoying. Black will have like Knight F6 there, but like. Oh, you actually do have Knight F6. So maybe F4. I like your then C. I like your C6. Did you say C6? Hanging. Yeah, C6. Like C6 there. Yeah. Takes C6, knight D4. Takes, now takes. the knight gets in. Okay, knight E5. Oh, very nice. Uh oh. Knight D5 so now D5 is really though, yeah, strong. What's happening? You have to go back. Oh, you you can't defend. You got to give up an exchange. There's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing against knight D5. Yeah. Oh, you missed it. Four. Yeah. We'll take those. So where do you go? You're very limited. Maybe maybe try. And knight G4 might be too risky. It's a fun looking move. Knight I think C6. you got to go knight C6. It's just principle. This is better. Yeah. How do you pronounce perk? Oh, perk is actually pronounced perks, but you know, in in America, it's too hard. It's, uh, yeah. it's right. <laughs> it's too hard, right? Perks or like alakine is aliakin or aliakin. You know, some strain. Five Alyokin. different ways to say it. Aliakin. Right? Aliakin. Aliakin. It's Alyokin. like a... you hear that? <laughs> you hear that, bro? Like, yeah. there's no K. Like, come on. Like, no K in there, but there's a K in the word. And then, you know, it's funny when people. I always make an analogy like you know what you know there's the k is in the name and there's oh but you're not supposed to pronounce it okay so my name is james but i spell it with a p in the beginning you're allowed because, to do that you know 
I'm allowed to do that, right? And they're like, why do you do that? Why is that there? Because I can't. That's yeah. how, like, that's literally how, how Ali Ekin and all these other names are. Yeah, you're allowed to that's do that. insane. I would, I would do that. I'd be like, it's James with a PH at the front. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, P, how do you spell your name? Uh, P H J L J A M E S. I'm like, excuse me? No, it's it's James. But make sure you put that in the front. My man can't do. What's up, Incognito Bandito? What's good, baby? I just found out they added you as a bot. Yeah, man, go play the bot. And I know how you're doing most times. Nine times out of ten, I know how you did. Oh, you got a but, bot. Congratulations. Yeah, I got a bot, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's fine. Did Very they, aggressive. Did bot. they set it to like your your level? I wish, yo, they said it to actually, yeah, they said it to while I was set it to uh, a very aggressive 2300. A very aggressive. <laughs> I know I'm stronger than 2300, but I was like, okay, cool. You know, based off ratings, 2300. All right. But it's, uh, it's a um, very aggressive 2300. So I was hyped about that. I was hyped about that. It's very strong. And they, they don't play my openings. And I was like, how is that possible? Because they have their own databases that are set already. So they got databases like set, like if you want an aggressive database, then they use blah, 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 blah. So it actually doesn't play C3 Sicilian or any Scott's Gambit or Accelerated Dragon. It just plays whatever. I'm like, y'all like that, it plays whatever. That bot stole my girl, stop. <laughs> stole your girl. Rick 81, Rick 88, nice job. Yeah, this is some higher level chess here. Why is it well? Higher. some nice pressure. Mm -hmm. And what's the piece count? Three six pawns to three six pawns. The bishops, though, are monsters. Look how Black's pieces are all nice and compact, though. Now, they are together. That's a good thing. Problem is the two bishops in a slightly open position. Ooh, Ray incoming. That's oh, a power Ray incoming from who? Rayness. Thanks for the follow, Caesar Og. Big Ray, brother. Big Ray. Yo, Rayness. Yo, yo, whoa, 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 hey. Oh, oh my, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yo. Give you a second. My, to... Oh my goodness, bro. This is nuts. Yo, thanks. Thanks, Hikaru. Yo, shout out to the man, the myth, the legend himself, Hikaru. My sub channel thing, my follow thing is going nuts. I'm, I have yeah, never, I'm watching your chat. Oh boy. <laughs> I have literally never seen this before. Hikaru, thank you for blessing the chat like this, Hikaru. <laughs> Only, only Hikaru makes this kind of thing happen. Yeah. Wow. I, I don't even know what to say, bro. Thanks for the raid, great big fella. I appreciate you, bro. Wow. Hope you have a good one. Hope you have a good one. Dang. This is insane. Right now. Let me put the mod icons on. What is this? Yo, thanks for the follows. Welcome to the stream. We in here. We having a sub battle, right? now right now so yo mods hey do y'all work please okay <laughs> hey mods we gonna need some help okay hey queen elephants you know anybody else that may be able to help cooking rooks yo thanks for the 20 gifted so yeah, i would say bro. just enjoy enjoy the ride man you don't you don't I get am. this every day <laughs> you're right you're right i am i'm just gonna let it chill yeah let the chat do its thing welcome to the stream y'all join the discord just to youtube in the chat just like that that's the chess club on chess.com. Thanks for the follows, y'all. And, you know, oh, it's on slow mode. Somebody put it on slow mode. Yeah. I guess we need that. We on. Oh, we on on. Wow. Welcome to the stream, y'all. Welcome to the stream. Big Ray from Ikaru. Big boy Ray. Appreciate you, bro. I really Let's hope go. your mods were taking like a bathroom break. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh man, all right, go That's David, crazy. you got this. Yo, thanks for the subs, baby, thanks for the subs. All right, so what we got going on? What we got going on here? Knight take 97, you could do rook takes e7. Love you, man, love you too, For Forte. Welcome to the stream, thanks for the follows, everybody. Welcome to the stream, welcome to the stream. All right, so what happened here? Oh, White got rook h3. No, David playing yeah. fantastic. Dang, Excellent boy, that's game. nasty. That's nasty rook right there. That was real strong. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, just got enough flag. Yeah, it takes bishop g7. Queen h3 is mate. Flag! Oh, oh he almost God, flagged. Oh, my goodness. goodness. Oh, boy. It's mate on the back. Oh, right. no. oh my God. Oh, no. <laughs> Get the man off the board! Oh my goodness! Oh, man. Bravo! Ah! 
Let's get a flex in the chat real quick. Somebody, hey, let's get some flex real hard, y'all. Flex yeah, those of you guys that just joined on Candy's side, that's basically uh, been the match in uh, uh, <laughs> Flex real hard in the chat, please. Nothing but flex real hard, baby. Let's go, bravo. Let's go, my guy. Oh my goodness. Sorry, dude. That was not supposed to happen. Bravo, you were supposed to lose in every way, shape, and form. In every way, shape, and form. And you found a way. You found a way. I mean, you literally found a way. I cannot believe you right now. Bravo, a dub is a dub, though, baby. A dub is a dub. We won, like, every game from dead loss position. You know? <laughs> Kosti had just few, said no, that, bro. You had a few, like, legit wins. A few. All right. <laughs> Yo, that was nuts. That was nuts. Hey, thanks for that clip, bro. Thanks for that clip. Hey, Noah, send me that clip and a message. I just added you as a friend. Send me that clip in a whisper. I only add, uh, I only take, take uh, oh, man, messages sliding, from, guys. We from are friends. Sliding. A bunch of chess windows over here. I ain't even gonna lie. Look, hey, we, hey, we win it. We up though, 10-4, okay? 10-4. Another one, baby. I thought totally they would have resigned mm -hmm. that. Yeah. You no, know, you, you guys have done really good, like under the pressure. Like when both sides are under pressure, I think your team has done done much better. Yeah. Which, which is okay. It's all good. Yeah. Appreciate you, Noah. Thanks. Hey, y'all, join the Discord. Hang out with us uh, all times of the day. Right there. It's in the chat. Wow. Rick F1, mate, and we great. So, what's the next one? Are we doing. Um, we doing yeah, next? TS Riff on our end. Let me know you're ready in the chat. TSR. Spar, are you ready? Hey, Spari, come on, dog. Show out. This is the last game. Or do we have another one with the sub? Well, I, I think our board one is uh, uh is, is gone. They weren't feeling well, actually. They just got, like, the COVID vaccine. So they <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> they got a rest. I feel that. Yeah, you got to get some rest on that. And, uh, yeah, I think it's okay. No no need. To... That's cool. We can take this as, as the last one to hang around a little bit since we got a, a big raid. So thanks for the follow for Lion. And appreciate it. Thing I am. Okay, What's so the name of the other guy commentating? In fact, actually, y'all go go follow him too, y'all. This is um the Chess Dojo. Shout out Chess Dojo Live. Literally, I spend a lot of time over there watching this stuff. I'm not even gonna lie. So Chess Dojo Live, check click the link right there in the chat. Thanks, man. Right there in the chat. Go um go follow Chess Dojo, definitely. Oh yeah, much appreciate it. Oh yeah, no problem. All right, uh Spari, you ready? Oh Spari's ready. Okay, cool. Spari's the ready. game will be starting shortly, guys. And here Spari's we ready, go. Baby. Let's go, let's go. No, it's All like right, good, David. Sparry. They played an excellent game. It happens. It happens. Come on, Spari. Let's get it, Spari. Yes, International Master Kosti of Kavutsky. That's who's uh, commentating with me. All right, Native 396, Bishop B5, baby. We got a Roy. Yeah, you know I'm back to the Roy Lopez lifestyle now. Vacation, thanks for the follow. Native 6 Castles, if Knight takes C4, Ricky 1. So this one I haven't got to yet. I haven't got to the open span and stuff yet. I actually used to play this in black. Oh, 94, wow. Yeah. Hey, thanks for the follows. Those of you from very, very Canty's chat. Much appreciated. Yeah, welcome to Dojo. Welcome to Chess Dojo, y'all. Yeah. It's fire over there. Roy Lopez, goaded opening. Honestly, it is, Caesar. I'm taking lessons with a GM coach, um, Tangi Ringwar. But, uh, man, you know, he recommends the Roy. I tried everything. I mean, I like the Italian game. And Wesley So got some nasty material on uh, on Italian game. But it's just not uh it's not the it's not the most fun. I'm not even gonna lie. Maybe not even the best. Yeah. Cooking rooks. Hey bro, thanks for that 20 piece, my guy. Thanks for that 20 piece again. Thanks for the 20 piece and the biscuit. Thanks for the 20 gifted. Gift subs, my guy. Ricky one might be better. Yeah. Oh Ricky won a lot. Actually, in fact, I think Spari is right on right now. He's very close to um this is like theory theory from what I remember. This is O theory. Yeah, C three here uh, definitely a good move. Yeah, yeah, C3, Bishop C2, you try to get this knight off of E4. So Bishop C2 is coming next. It should probably. Bishop C2 coming next. Thanks for the follow, Dirk Xavier. Feels like giving away what they want, yeah. There it is, Bishop C2. Ooh, oh, that can't be right. That cannot be right. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't like that. Ooh, no. I don't like that. I don't like that yeah. either. F6. And then he didn't even mm. take. Yeah, yeah. It, it ain't right. It's not right. It doesn't feel right, but he he played it kind of quick, so I'm wondering if it's like, I don't know. Some type of prep. Mm. This is theory. Board Apple says this is theory. Is this theory? Is Knight takes theory? Hold oh, on. No. Let me let me put the engine on. It's equal. Somehow this is equal, bro. What? Yeah. What? This is theory. It's what surprising. theory is this? Yeah. This is very surprising. 
Yeah, Yo, I, my I man's down a piece. Yeah, it doesn't look crazy, but it's a down a piece, bro. This is nuts. Like, I mean, yeah, you got this off. Okay, but I just go back. King G1, and I'm assuming maybe D4, but then Knight E4. Yeah. Hit the queen, I mean, well, D4 is like hanging. A, There's like, this is nuts. It's not like a piece, but it, because it's like, works for two line. pieces, but, um. Yo, who is bored Apple? What is your rating? My guy, he like yo, this theory, yeah, this main line, hundred <laughs> percent. Like yo, bro, who are you? Like, dude, that guy's like twenty eight hundred chessable. Do you know who you're talking? I mean, to? He's bored Apple, twenty eight hundred chessable. Oh, no, just uh, you know what? <laughs> that is him. I heard about him. He say twenty one hundred. I figured you had to be over two k to know this. This is not no theory I've ever seen. I have, and I would not go for this. Is black to be honest. I just never go for it. I don't like giving work for two pieces. Yeah, I'm just not going for this. I think I guess you get some compensation. You get some comp, but like I don't think it's enough practical chances playing against somebody pretty strong. Yeah, I mean it's like I imagine it's computer approved, but yeah, our feeling is that like you know two pieces in a practical point of view usually kind of outplay the rook. So you have to right. be very very accurate here with black to make this work. Right. Yeah. And well, that's correct. So that's, that's why we're correct. both kind of like we're a little bit skeptical of it. Yeah, we definitely step skeptical of that. And like, he's like, they like, yo, he's a, he's a second. Oh, Board Apple is like a second to some super GM <laughs> for knowing that theory there. Like, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's 100% theory. Yeah, yeah absolutely. He's working for Wesley, so. <laughs> yeah, for knowing that one. Weird, some weird theory, though. Bro, for real. Mastini, oh, yes. This is definitely weird theory. I ain't never seen that. Bishop B3, Bishop takes D5. 94? Ooh, but no, you got to keep that on wrap. So I uh, guess, I guess, you know, compensation. He got a, this bishop on c1 so mm -hmm. he's down a piece technically 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 they're even i don't play ex f6 though even though it's the main line oh another one another one <laughs> come on man all right hold up hold up bro give me a second i got you bro there we go Not easy for white, especially if black can get like rook a1 and then white will feel really under pressure. It's an interesting, yeah, rook a1 here is just very annoying. Give me a second. Let me actually change this. I'm gonna make a quick change. I'm watching still. I'm just about to turn this off. Oh, yeah, you're off. fine. Turn the sound off. Yeah, it's funny. We got a, like a Hikaru raid a couple of weeks ago, and then <laughs> we got like so many follows from that. Like our animation was just going like for yeah, hours. We got it's still going off, actually bro. from that raid. It's, our animation is <laughs> <laughs> still going from the raid. That is insane. Hikaru just changes <laughs> lives, literally. Yeah, one raid Anything Hikaru does, it will change your life. Whether you like it or not, what Hikaru does, it will change your life. Settings. I just, I need to change this alert box. Oh my goodness. Settings. There we go. Clear sound. Yeah, that'll work. Mm, Rick E8. I no, think Rick we good. Wrong direction. Rick should have gone. I think we good. This way. Oh man. All right. All right, everyone. Yeah. Feels better, huh? Is that you dancing? No, that's not me. That's somebody else. That's funny. Yeah, hey, what's up? No, nah, Craig, you know what's funny, Craig? That was my, um, that was my, I was, Craig, and uh, you know, I'm mad about that too, Craig. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm mad about that, Craig. Craig, hey, I actually, Costa, you didn't notice either. My FIDE rating, right? I was zero. I was zero FIDE rated. Mm -hmm. My first FIDE rating was 2353. Mm -hmm. provisional so i'm like oh that's cool then i go i go to um uh, this is a time when hans was in fm and he was uh i actually drew him in that t in that game but what happened is with hans i went there i got four and a half out of nine 50 percent at an im tournament invitational and i dropped 100 points i'm like yo this is nuts i played everybody i played was 2300 plus how did i drop 100 points and getting four and a half so i was mad about that so i went from 2353 to 22 35 55 something like that I was so mad i was like i was like yo you know this rating system sucks you know that really sucks bro yeah, sorry buddy <laughs> yeah it, it hurt bro it really hurt because i'm like yo man so y'all want me to win eight out of nine to get points out of this tournament <laughs> what do you mean like these guys are all going for i am like me 
Just like nuts, bro. All right, Bishop E1. Well, Spari always gets in time trouble. Oh, 96, Bishop D1. That's nice. Bishop G4, Bishop B6. Yeah, game is getting super hectic. Yeah. Come on, Spari. Queen G7's mate. Oh, man. Rook F7. Oh, that's it. Rook oh, Rook my goodness. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. That's, bad that's news. a wrap. Just like that, Spari. Gonna go like G6. Let's go, Spari. Yeah. yeah, he went G6. He did find that too. That's crazy. And now, should be winning for white. Yeah, 10 seconds on the clock. What? No, no knight takes, huh? Just take the knight. <laughs> yes, right. All right, just take the knight, bro. Now pawn takes and then bishop you. b3. If pawn takes, you got bishop b3. Bishop b3 check is very strong. Bishop b3 and just set up mate threats everywhere. Bishop b3, bishop b4. I mean, you get the knight out too. Yeah, he wants to save the knight. You get bait, save the knight, whatever. Three stinky fingers was good. H5, yeah, unfortunate. Big fella, yo. Big fella. H5, queen c7, king f8, bishop h4. Oh, that was made too. Yeah, GG. GG. Well Let's go, bro. Well hey, shout out to all the people playing in today's sub battle. Because we went off today. I mean, Ooh, look at that. Man, you guys got five in a score. row there. Ugh. Look at the score. Five in a row. Five in a row. Oh, let's go! It's you know okay, what I'm guys. saying? It's okay, Dojo. Thanks for the follow, metabolic <laughs> error. For the Dojo. <laughs> Fighting hard today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, as a runaway. We got it, baby. We got it. That's a dub. That's another dub. That was a GG, TS Ref. It was a GG. Man, that was great. That was great. Hey, shout out to you, Spari. Thanks for that. Thanks for that, guys. Appreciate it. Let me unfollow you, Spari. So I'm going to see your games later. You guys have nothing nothing Spari. to apologize for. No one should be apologizing in either, either chat. <laughs> yeah, no one should be apologizing. Correct, chat. No one should apologize. It was great games, and some of them were great. Some of them were absolutely garbage, and from both players, both sides. Big boy tackle this, right, Henry? Yeah, but it was an honor. It was great, man. It was fun. It was fun hanging out with you this guys. This was, was fun, yeah. Yeah, likewise. Yeah, we had a blast. Um, thanks for doing this with us. We love having battles against other channels and just getting to play other players, you know, so we don't have to play each other all the time. Oh yeah, I love it. I love it. I thought it was great, man. We're gonna do more of this, of course, and uh and go from there man so i guess we're gonna keep it running we're gonna keep it cranking and make sure y'all follow costia we're gonna keep it cranking here we ain't going nowhere you can, uh, carl hit us with that big boy raid so we gonna stick around for host the tournament so let's uh make sure y'all go follow go and follow the chess dojo live right here y'all i'm gonna put it in the chat go ahead and hit the follow if you haven't Chess dojo live i spent a lot of time watching these streams too and I learned stuff from that stream. So, it, you know, it's definitely something for y'all to go follow. Thanks, man. Much appreciated. Well, I'll, I'll be signing off soon. Um, I'll leave you to it. Uh, James, thanks cool, so much again. This was a blast. Hopefully we can get a rematch sometime. Oh, we will. Definitely will, bro. That'll appreciate it, man. Yeah. Well, but, um, catch you later, bro. Yeah, guys, make sure to follow GM Canty if you haven't already. His stream is a lot of fun. He's a good friend of ours. Um, all right, man. Hey, take it easy. Have a good one. You too, man. Bye, guys. Bye, ciao. ciao. All right, guys, quick break here, but coming up next is going to be Dojo Scrubs. So don't go anywhere for that. They'll be coming on in a couple minutes. And yeah, thanks to everyone who played. Let me, um, on, can I switch? Let's switch here. I'm going to do. Full webcam, guys. Full webcam. It's a little weird quality, but it's fine. We're just going to be here for two seconds. Look, guys, if you played, you didn't win your game, that's okay. <laughs> it happens. It's just Blitz. It's very, very volatile, you know, guys. Like, a lot of those games just came down to the last seconds. We definitely had maybe one or two wins that we didn't, you know, deserve ourselves. So it's always, like, it's always a toss-up. The important thing is that you don't beat yourself up about it. You try to learn something from the game. And, uh, yeah, you have... You have some fun, you know, guys, and you have like 10 seconds on your on your clock. Like, no one is gonna play well in that situation. Like, 10 seconds is is not a lot of time. So we're not banning anyone for losing. <laughs> You're all good. Yeah, thanks for the follows, everyone. Thanks for everyone who followed the, the channel, by the way. Shout out to those of you from uh, Candy's channel. Welcome to welcome to Dojo. I 
Yeah, I think we need Tali actually to give some lessons. Tali played fantastic <laughs> under 10 that under 10 seconds. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's go ahead and unban everyone we banned uh, for losing. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's tough when you're down to 10 seconds. I mean, the increment helps, right? You know, the increment helps a little bit, but you're down under 10 seconds. It's yeah, it's tough not to um, not to panic. But hopefully, it was good. Um, it was good practice for you all. That's what it all is. It's all about practice and getting better for next time. So yeah, guys, don't go anywhere. Um, Dojo Scrubs are going to be coming on soon, and uh, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm not sure what they're doing today. I think they might be analyzing some games, uh, but they're always a lot of fun. Dojo Scrubs is our little group of. Um, some of our lower rated members that come on and they work on their chess and it's very relatable, very accessible show. So you guys hopefully can, uh, can enjoy it. But all right guys, I'm going to be signing off for now. Um, I will be back on the channel. Um, actually maybe later today. Um, but definitely we'll be back for the candidates commentary starting at 4 a.m pacific time hopefully with jesse so that'll be tomorrow monday we'll be covering the critical round 13 it's gonna be um oh yeah nepo mvl nepo mvl coming up so that's starting in like 12 and a half hours <laughs> so 12 and a half hours we're gonna have the candidates uh coverage but i might be back later today for for another stream we'll see Thanks, thanks, David. And you guys see the info there for our upcoming Mega Rapid Championship, Friday, April 30th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific, an eight round, one section, all play all marathon of 15 plus five games with prizes and live commentary. And if 150 plus people sign up for that, uh, our boy David Pruis is going to rap. And that's, that's, that's definitely a strong community goal. <laughs> um, Let's see, prizes are usually um, stuff like uh, getting VIP status, getting your game analyzed. Um, oh yeah, David's a great rapper. Yeah, you guys will, you guys will enjoy it. Uh, we have good prizes. We have prizes that are uh, appealing for people who like chess and not appealing for people who cheat. <laughs> so, so we have prizes that are good for people that are like trying to improve their chess, you know, get featured on a stream, that kind of stuff. Hey, Michiko, thanks for the bets. Much appreciated. Yeah, it's, it was a blast having you guys play. Of course, I'm sorry not everyone got a chance to play. We have to just try to um, play it by ear and get as many players uh, with equal rated opponents as possible. But um, hopefully you guys will uh, play the next one as well. Okay, guys, I'm going to be signing off. Dojo Scrubs coming on shortly. Um, so you'll have to refresh your page for the next stream. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care all.